smell nice fragrance with the oil. Bougie. You know smell like a rain crocodile. Bougie. Fish pan noon, they eat a boil. Bougie dance with the fashion and style. Bougie. Good report to me run a profile. Bougie, Bougie dance, you know that's true, no child. Bougie. Pull a hole go, so you well versatile. Take me down to a gun, wicked and wild. Righteous on your bougie. bougie. You know smell raw like sushi. sushi. Have you on a trend, nappy you wear no goji. Nah, Tell them move up me where. Excuse me. Righteous, man a trend setter. Hustle for the family, I'm a go-getter. Say you want a wife, but you don't have no job. Little boy, them still a bed wetter. Boy, them a pre my crew. Watch everything we do. Hey, boy. I'ma do me, do you. Easy, kill him with a brand new move. Kill him with it. Boy, them a pre my crew. My crew. Watch everything we do. Hey, boy. I'ma do me, do you. Energy, kill him with a brand new move. Kill him with it, kill him with it. Boozy dance. Mm. You too boozy. Boozy. Kill him with it, kill him with it. Boozy dance. Mm. You too boozy. Nice. Kill him with it, kill him with it. Boozy dance. Mm. You too boozy. Boozy. Kill him with it, kill him with it. Boozy dance. Mm. You too boozy. Nice. Kill him with it, dance. This is the hammer. Clap your hands for yourself. This is the hammer. Clap your hands for yourself. Check. Listen up, y'all. Y'all got to take y'all seats. Class is about to start in two minutes. Everybody take your places. Find your seats. Get in order. Can't hear? Turn me up. Check. Check. All right. So take y'all seats. All the conversation, all that stuff must be ceasing. Take your seats. Class is about to start. Two minutes. Find your places. Brothers, Get your garments, put your garments on. Make sure your, your phones are muted. No, that's the reader. That was on the reader. All right, Israel, let's stand and face Jerusalem. Men of Israel, blow trumpet.
Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melted before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Sing unto God. Sing praises to his name. Extol him that rides upon the heavens by his name. Jah, and rejoice before him. A father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows is God in his holy habitation. God set up the solitary and familiar in families. He bringeth out those which are bound with chains, but the rebellious dwell in the dry land. Holy Father, we come before you, Lord, in the name of your Son, Jesus the Christ. Our Father, we in heaven, honor be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. As it is in heaven, let it be on earth. Give us his day our daily word and forgive us for our sin. Forgive other sins against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deal us from all evil, Father. Lord, guide us, Father. Send your angels to guide us and protect us throughout the way, Father. Father, always leave your angels surround us because we're living in the evil times where men think they can hurt your prophet, where men thought is all vain thought. Father, you have sent us to gather the 12 tribes. Father, continue open doors to us. Use your strength in us. Use our, use our soul and our body in righteousness and exalt your power upon this earth. Father, then check all our enemy that are trying to stop this truth from going forward. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus the Christ, rest your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding within us. Guide us so we may guide these people in righteousness and holiness. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus the Christ, those that are sick among us, heal them quickly and speedily. Father, those that are weak in faith, build their faith by the trial, tribulation, that be strong. When the day come, in the name of your son, Jesus the Christ, let the whole congregation say hallelujah. 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 In your son's name, we glorify thee, Father. We thank you for the food, also for the drink. In Christ we pray, we ask. Amen. Amen. Men of Israel. Sons of God, patient saints, sons of God, head to the Most High Christ bless. Troop down, faith sisters, to honorable mothers, daughters, women of Sarah, we say shalom. Most High Christ bless. All right, shalom, brothers, shalom, sisters. How y'all doing this Sabbath day? Shalom to our brothers and sisters online. We say shalom to our enemies online as well, for we, they are many. Uh, <laughs> good to be back. Been gone for quite a while. I think I haven't been in New York for a month and a half. So it is good to be back, good to be home, see the brothers and sisters. You might be asking why I got this uh, old garment on. Well... A lot of my stuff got stolen. I had books. My garments all gone. So, lost, stolen, whatever word you want to put onto it. So, I got to redo. The brother do garments in Chicago. I need you to hook me up. I need some more. I even got my blue and gold Passover garment. Gone. As soon as you, do, you think you're going, you're in the spirit, get something good, and all of a sudden, get back Satan, go, boop, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think all these things happen to us to humble ourselves. Yes. <laughs> all praises, though. I'm taking in stride. That's all I could do. That's all I can do. All right. So today we want to discuss what's the name of the class? I'm sorry. Something, Jesus in Kenya? Jesus came to Kenya. A study of, a study of what? His image, thank you. Study of his image. Jesus came to Kenya, study of his image. But uh, we were in Sierra Leone for a month, and we were in Uganda for two weeks doing work. Uh, oh, brothers and sisters, that y'all been sending the uh, 
the um, packages to the uh, schools out of state. Uh, let's start sending them to uh, Liberia. Need they, what they what they need a lot is deodorant, toothpaste, soap. Soap, yeah. What else? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah man. Then do not send your whip out shirt. You don't no, you send don't, your old clothes. Don't, don't send, send your mop shirt uh, to these people. You understand? Yeah, be be respectable, man. You, yeah. Today, you and I, man, you can find things cheaper than you. you know I mean, you know your shirt is wear. That's the reason you don't wear it because it's, it's no look good. You understand that? You're going to put it in a box, send it to the brothers. Come on, man. Let, let's be real. I mean, that's very disrespectful. Black people. Black people. You ain't right. You ain't right. Um, Uganda got a lot of Hamites in there. We seen, well, I'd say like half. Sierra Leone, I'd say is like 80% Israel. Sierra Leone. No, I cannot talk for Sierra Leone because, I mean, you're doing Oh, me yeah, dirty. you weren't allowed to I come mean, to Sierra Leone. I mean, that devil do me dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, both places are beautiful. Uganda is a very beautiful country. I think it's one of the more beautiful countries of Africa. I mean, and it's on a, it's on a upper, rise economically. Upper coming, yeah. Visually, visually, when you look at it, it's, it's very nice. It's much more higher than Sierra Leone in terms of economics, uh, <laughs> The buildings, things of that nature. The metropolis is a building out there. Yeah, you didn't look in uh, behind the hotel. You see how they had like they look like a mini New York. Yes, that, that remind me of Ghana when we was in the capital. About right, the that look like yeah, man, like Bishop said, it's an up and coming country. Because we have talked to one of that man over there. He's saying that they're open it to tourists to come and make sure they open job for their people. They have done a good job. I, I think, I think I like it better than. Uh, Celion, a little bit. You didn't go to Sierra Leone. No, I, I went to Celion for two weeks. What you talking about? When? In the spirit. And before that. <laughs> <laughs> what you're talking about? Y'all want me to tell all your guys? Y'all want me to tell you all my secret? What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> all praises. All praises. Um, all right. So, any, was there anything else? Anything else we left oh, Yeah, by the way, yeah, Isaac, we blame you for all the wing day over oh, there. Oh, yeah. Isaac. Every time he's wing, we, we he's winning, we call uh, we blame Isaac. Any problem, Isaac. Yes, all the problems falls on Captain I, Isaac. Isaac. Uh, Captain O'Shea was nervous to meet uh, Maya. He said, "That's my childhood sweetheart." <laughs> oh Lord! Damn. We said, "Get yourself together, Captain. Get, get it together. You're a captain. Yeah. <laughs> Take that sweater off and represent <laughs> yourself right." <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, a lot of things going on. We're going to talk. One day we're going to talk about all the stuff that occurred out there. Let's open up with uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter. And these are some of the scriptures we went through while we've been out there. And you know one thing I noticed the difference between Uganda and Sierra Leone? Uganda's literacy rate is like 60% literate. Sierra Leone's literacy rate is like 40% literate. For example, we'd be teaching the color of Christ in Sierra Leone, and everybody would be standing there. Within a minute, somebody asks, somebody would raise their hand and say, so what color is Jesus? We'd go through it. Next person. So what does that mean? It's like, you don't understand? <laughs> no, they don't understand. <laughs> trying to get through it, trying to get through it. We had, that was the famous scripture in Sierra Leone for a month. Going over the color of Christ. They, pe you had to go drill it in the head seven, eight, ten times before they could grasp it. Whereas Uganda was a little more quicker. They were more, they, they caught it a little quicker than Sierra Leone. Sorry, Sierra Leone. I'm just going to tell you exactly what happened. That's what happened. That's what occurred. So, Matthew, the 24th chapter. Who's reading for me? Over Salim, Bishop. Over Salim. Let's, Matthew 24, verse 4. Let's start there. Yes, sir. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Now, when you examine history, you examine the time of slavery as well as uh, colonialism. You had many Europeans that went throughout the continent of Africa teaching that they are Christ. When you look at Christian commentaries, they like to bring up such people as Jim Jones or David Koresh. But the operative word we want to examine is many, many. Not one, not two, or five. 
Many means thousands. When you look and examine the Berlin Conference of the late 1800s, where Europeans divided the continent of Africa up between the Portuguese, the Dutch, the British, the Germans, uh, the Spanish, the French, they all took a piece and they all pushed the doctrine that they are Christ. Read it again. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Now, in order for us to really get into that verse, Christ, and to understand that Christ obviously had to leave a description of himself to prepare us and help us so that we ourselves would never be deceived. Because when you ask people this question, so he says, for men, he says, take heed that no man deceive you. That's verse 4. So he obviously had to leave us biblical clues to himself so that we would not be deceived. So when we go to Revelation chapter 1, let's go there. This was the famous Sierra Leone scripture. And I, again, we take things for granted, but don't take any of these scriptures for granted. What we, many people can probably paraphrase here, over there is like new. It's new to them. And they're like, why are y'all just coming out with this understanding now? You know, why wasn't this taught to us years ago? You know, read that. Revelation 1, 14 and 15. Christ said, take heed that no man deceive you. Many shall come in my name saying I am Christ and shall deceive many. Read that. Reve Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Mm -hmm. His head. And his hairs were white like wool. So the hair on his head and the hair on his face were white like wool. Wool is a texture. Wool, there are primarily two basic types of hair. You have thin straight hair or uh, wool afro hair. Those are pretty much two types. Those are the most popular types on the earth. That's for you wavy hair brothers out there. But what about us? You're like, no, we're not thinking about you. Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. As white as snow. His hair was fully white. Not gray. Amaziah, Captain Amaziah, but white. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drank wine. Come and on. his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. You know, mo what we take for granted and not understand, people would grasp it. You know, in Sierra Leone, we had to literally buy brass. Captain Hoshea bought a uh, menorah of brass, and we had to burn it literally in front of the people so that they could grasp the understanding of what that meant. Mm. I tell you, we had to bring do a lot of illustrations in Sierra Leone, a lot of illustrations. Read that again, verse 15, I'm sorry. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Because he spoke very, very loud. Now go to 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Second Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit, which you have not received, or another gospel, which you have not accepted, you might well bear with him. Read it again. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. Now, we read about the description of Jesus in the Bible. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. You can also reference Daniel 10, verse 5 and 6. Those are the two popular scriptures that describe the Messiah. So here Paul is saying, if he that comes preaching another Jesus, give me that in 1 John 4 and 3. 1 John 4 verse 3. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 3. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. If is he came in the flesh, everybody says, oh, yeah, he came in the flesh. Well, if he came in the flesh, what color was his flesh? Read it again. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. They're not of God. Because you ask him what color was his flesh, they'll say either white or nobody knows. So what, Christ running around Jerusalem invisible? Are you kidding me? Was he polka dot? Go ahead. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. That's the spirit of Antichrist. When the Europeans went throughout Africa teaching that they are Christ, that was the spirit of Antichrist. Why? Because they rejected the biblical description of him with white wool hair and skin like it burned in the furnace. And they gave you a European Jesus with red pink skin and yellow thin hair. That's what they wanted. That's the spirit of Antichrist. Go ahead. Whereof you have heard that it should come. And even now already, 
It is in that it is in the world. And even now already is it in the world. Go back to 2 Corinthians 11 and 4, please. Yes, sir. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, uh -huh. whom we have not preached. Because the disciples never preached a Caucasian Jesus. Go ahead. Or if you receive another spirit. Or if you receive another spirit. Go ahead. Which ye have not received. Which ye have not received. What's this other spirit? Give me 1 Timothy 4 and 1. What is this other spirit making reference to? 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. See that? Giving heed to seducing spirits. So the spirit that's in the world today, this Christianity spirit, is a seducing spirit. It seduces us to break God's laws. That's what it does. Go back to uh, Corinthians. Second, Second Corinthians 11 and 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus... Whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit, which you have not received, or another gospel. Or another gospel. Give me that in Galatians 1, 6, and 7, please. Another gospel. A lot of times we think the gospel is, it should be simple, but evil has corrupted it. Watch what it says here. The book of Galatians chapter 1 and verse 6. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ. Unto another gospel. So our people were removed unto another gospel. Go ahead. Which is not another. It says which is not another because they were using the same biblical text that the apostles were using. But they were doing something different with the scriptures. He's going to say it in the next part. Go ahead. But there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. That's what they were doing with the scriptures. Perverting the gospel. Perverting it. All right. So like when you read the scriptures on color, they'll go, oh, no, 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 no. That's his emotions. That's his feeling, his inner feelings. OK, the, the wool hair. Oh, that represents righteousness. That's not really what he looked like, though. That's what they do. OK, let's go from there. Go to uh, go back to Second Corinthians 11, 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus whom we have not preached or you or if you receive another spirit. Which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted. Which ye have not accepted, go ahead. Ye might well bear with him. And the way we bear well with them is by rebuking people in the scriptures. That's how we bear with them. Let's go to Matthew, the 24th chapter again. And let's jump down. Because Matthew 24, Christ goes into a brief synopsis of the history that would occur to the Israelites, our fathers. Matthew 24, let's start at verse 15. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 15. When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Let's see what Christ is talking about. Go to Daniel 9, 27. I'm just curious. Let's check it out for a moment. The abomination of desolation stand in the holy place. What is he talking about? Daniel chapter 9 and verse 27. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Mm -hmm. We've gone over this before. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. That's what Rome did. Good. And for the overspreading of abominations. And for the overspreading of abominations. He shall make it desolate. He shall make Jerusalem desolate. That's the it. Good. Even until the... Con the consummation, mm -hmm. and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. So Daniel was prophesying about Rome. Let's jump up. Jump up to verse mm, 26. Yes, sir. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off. So Daniel's prophesying about Christ being sacrificed, dying. Go ahead. But not for himself. Because Christ didn't die for himself. He died for the nation of Israel. Go ahead. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city. That's Rome. Go ahead. And the sanctuary. That's the Roman Empire. Go ahead. And the end thereof shall be with a flood. And unto the end of the war, desolations are determined. Go ahead. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Rome made a covenant with the Israelites to allow us to sacrifice. This was for a short time. Go ahead. And in the midst of the week... He shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. Mm -hmm. And for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate, even unto the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon.
upon the desolate. So what was determined upon us occurred. We were destroyed as a nation. Go back to Matthew 24. Now we've got an understanding of what Christ was talking about in Matthew 24, verse 15. Read it again. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation. So Christ is calling the white man the abomination of desolation. I'm going to say it again. Jesus Christ, the Savior, who never gave an ill word, according to some of you, called the white man, the Roman Empire, the abomination of desolation. Go ahead. Spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. So what, he said, what is he saying? He said, I want you to go precept upon precept what I'm saying, what I'm talking about. If you didn't know Daniel, what he wrote, you ain't going to know what Christ was talking about. Go ahead. Then let them which be in Judea flee to the mountains. He was telling the Israelites, run for your lives. Leave Jerusalem. Run deeper into Africa. That's what he was telling them. Run. Go ahead. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child. And to them that give suck in those days. Why? Because what did Rome do? They besieged Jerusalem. They caused a seven-year famine. Give me that in Deuteronomy 28, please. Why did he say war unto them that are with child? This is why. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. And let's start at verse 50. Let's start at 49. Yes, sir. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. Rome, their a capital nation, was Italy, and their symbol was the eagle. Go ahead. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. The language of Rome was Latin, L-A-T-I-N. Not Spanish, Latin. Go ahead. <laughs> a nation of fierce Countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. Mm -hmm. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee the corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of thy kind. Or the word kind means cattle. K-I-N-E means cattle. Go ahead. Or flocks of thy sheep until he have destroyed thee. Come on. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates. This is the seven year siege. Go ahead. Until the high and fenced walls come down, wherein thou trustest, throughout all thy land, he shall besiege thee in all thy gates, throughout all thy land, which the Lord thy God have given thee. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body. This is why Christ said, War unto them that are with child in those days. And thou shalt what? And thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body. Because there was no food in Jerusalem to eat. Go ahead. The flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters which the Lord thy God have given thee in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee. Now the same thing did occur during the time of Babylon. So write that down. Uh, real quick, Jeremiah 19.9, I believe it is. Let me just to verify Babylon. Is that it? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 19 and verse 9. And I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters. And they shall eat everyone the flesh of his friend in the siege and straightness. Wherewith their enemies and they that seek their lives shall straighten them. So go back to Deuteronomy 20. I just want to show you something real quick. Because people get simple. Especially these uh, Christian apologetics. Dumb as a rock. They're like, oh, no, no, no. That, that only happened once. No. When you read Deuteronomy 28, verse 46, read that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. The, the curses that came upon us shall be upon us for a sign. What is the sign? That we're the Israelites. That's the sign. Go ahead. And for a wonder. Uh-huh. And upon thy seed forever. You see that? And upon thy seed forever. So a lot of these things is more than onefold or twofold. Some are threefold, fourfold. Because many of these things occurred from captivity to captivity to captivity. So I showed you that the famine, the siege happened during the time of Babylon. It also happened during the time of Rome. Now, during the time of Rome, it's not so much recorded in detail in the Bible. Why? Because most of the, these things that were written in the epistles 
occurred before 70 AD. Only the, the book of Revelation, I believe, was one of the few books that was written after 70 AD. This was written around 96. Okay, so let's go back to Matthew 24. And we're at verse 19 again. Matthew 24 and verse 19. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. You know, Israel had that doctrine about on the Sabbath day, don't fight. They didn't, some of them didn't learn from the Maccabees. Go ahead. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there, sh there should no flesh be saved. So Christ is going beyond 70 AD. He's going, because why? How do you know that? For then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. What occurred in 70 AD also occurred during the time of Babylon. Okay, so he's going far beyond that. He's talking about something different here. Go ahead. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Mm -hmm. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Read on. Then, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Now, that verse right there, Then, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Give me the video. Give me the video called uh, Kenyan Pastor Mir Miraculously Commands Jesus Christ. You dumb people. This is why you guys start cursing people out. People get simple as hell. This is why we got to go there. I thought there's a technical problem. Y'all didn't fix this while I was gone? Oh, you wasn't here? You haven't been here? No, no. You haven't been here for two years? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah Bishop, he bring the problem to New York. That problem wow. was not, it was wow. in Philly. You know what? Y'all can swing the camera that way. But see the camera? Put the camera right there. Let the people see Let the, the people RBLs. See. The RBLs. Let all the people, the people see. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> nope, no, you're not taking it. No, no. That's the Abiel corner. They're in the Abiel corner right there. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Yeah, Bishop, God you know lava, what he said. Just talk, lava. Yeah, and Bishop, you know what he's saying inside. You know what he said inside him. Yeah, he, he he was not happy to see the black brother back. He said, "Get you that dear brother back." Hey, hey, listen, man. Uh, yeah, a lot of times your guys not paying attention, man. Like Bishop just went out. It, when you go to this third world country, Deuteronomy twenty, uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight. And uh, Revelation 1 and uh, 1, let's say 114, Bishop, 114. Yeah, these are the guidelines, man. You just stick to it. Yeah, you know who would be good on that? Uh, uh, one of the brother here who only teach Deuteronomy 20 years. He'd be the master of that thing. You know, Majesty <laughs> Cap, man. I, I ain't saying no name. Why you look at me all funny, man? Uh, uh, yeah, man, but when you travel to these countries, man, you notice that. Uh, the the upper hand we do have while we living in America, why these men, a lot of things they do not have. You understand? I mean, Bishop had to tell the brother that <laughs> Bishop was funny, man. <laughs> you know, that uh, some some of our brother the underarm was the kicking point, man. And that's why when you do put that, when you give that, uh, like Bishop said, from now on we we know what they need. You understand? We're gonna we're gonna bring it for them. You understand? Yeah, but this is what they face every day, you understand? Yeah, but to them, that's known. To us, we're like, yo, my man, you need some shower. But to them, it's a regular thing, you understand? Because even though after they take their shower, if they don't have nothing to, I mean, to treat themselves with, what's good is their shower, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things we take for granted here. You know, like, uh, let me see, what else? What else uh, is that then the place they live, that we was able to... Uh, at least uh, uh, the Lord able to bless them with a better better home. You understand? In their home, 
when we first came, we see these brothers. And that was known to them. But to us, there was, a, there was like, we cannot, we cannot see them living like that. You understand? We thought the Lord put in our spirit to do better for them. That's why we show your guys their videos. We show your guys the pictures. You understand? Man, like, believe it or not, man, yeah, people can talk negative. Man, but at the end of the day, we bring solution to our people. We not only just say the, you know what I mean, we been, been but we bring solutions showing that them that we do care. You understand? It's good to speak the word, man, but what's good is it that when you finish reading it, you hardly can give a, you know what I mean, you hardly can give a brother a meal. You hardly can, you understand? That's what with God, there's always a way and a way out. Always remember that, brothers. When you keep these commandments, and when you apply this commandment, you don't keep it for yourself. You're keeping it for the others that will look at you as an example. You understand? Because a lot of people don't understand that. You live in a, you are a living example. Yeah, you live in for it. So you got to cut the broadcast and start all over again? All right, people online, just bear with us. <laughs> oh, oh man. Yo, yo, Abby, I'll fix your stuff. Stop playing, man. I told you stop playing back then. Yet yeah, from, from today on, your life going to change. But me, I, I listen to stuff like that. I'm looking at that, man, it's not him who's saying it. It's the Lord who's saying your, your life's going to change. I mean, we're no longer like that little, you know what I mean, like how we're looking at ourselves. The Lord is using us to do mighty things on this earth. Like us or not, you cannot deny the prophet's works. You understand? You can, you can curse Christ out, but you cannot deny that man that opened the eyes and ears of people without even he touching them. So how the hell are you going to stop this power from flowing? That's impossible. Go ahead, B. Oh, you we ready? All right, so where are we going? That ain't it. That's not the clip I want. It says minister commanded... Uh, Yeah. Kenyan pastor miraculously commands Jesus Christ. That one. Oh, yeah, that's it. So we went here. Uh, uh, Officer Leon, what was the verse we were? Matthew 24 and verse 23. Yeah, read verse 23 again. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Believe it not. Now, this was what happened in Kenya. This was back in July. So apparently you all must have seen that video that is a Kenyan pastor that is parading a white man in Kenya at the moment saying this is Jesus Christ who has descended from heaven as a result of a miracle from the said pastor and everybody in the pastor's church is jubilating and dancing with the said Jesus Christ in quotes. Like what is the world turning into? I am lost for words. I really do not know what to say right now. Like doing this sort of blasphemy and you know involving the name of the Son of God is something that I don't, re I am speechless. People can go to every length just to get themselves like famous or on the internet on these days. It's so crazy. I do not really understand this. Like, I'm just lost. <laughs> Let me hear what you guys think in the comment sections down below. So this Kenyan passing in his behind whooped. That's what he needs. He need to get whooped for that. But you, his whole church and half the city, when you see the news articles on it, half the city believed that that dude was Jesus the Christ when his, with his Greek toga. And nobody ever pe peeps that he's wearing a Greek toga. And crack, uh, and, and, and crack it look like. And what? A crackhead. Oh, yeah, crackhead. Yes, Lava. Yes, a crackhead. So, <laughs> give me the next video. Wow. So you had the whole, this half the city believed that that was Christ. See, I tell you that Revelation 1, 14, it shuts down all these lies. And you will never see these Christian apologetics never speak again. Even those dumb urban apologetics. They don't speak against this. That's how you know they're all full of it. Go ahead, play that. As she comes together with this interpreter, 
Uh, pasta, Julius. And if any Northern King, look, watch Northern Kingdom in here. You got to watch them because they start shaking and sweating and start doing a damn sign of the cross. Throw them out. <laughs> Go ahead. Welcome. God bless you. Then as appreciate Pastor Montiso as he comes to interpret for our preacher tonight. Thank you. Welcome. Amen. If you know Jesus loves you, wave your hand nice. Come on, enjoy Yesu and Agupen and Itungemko. If you know God really loves you, wave both of your hands nice. Come on, enjoy Mungu and Agupen and Itungemko. Edomite need to be set on fire. And that Negro need to be whooped over there. <laughs> Go ahead. If you know God has the best plan in your entire life for you, jump. Come on, enjoy Mungu and Agupen and Itungemko. Come on, enjoy Mungu and Agupen and Itungemko. Amen. And they all jumping. Amen. The like niggas are jumping. The niggas are jumping. The hell is this? So much for coming out to our yeah, final night here. Here. In Kitigala Crusade. Uh, I can't see them. Well, cut it off. Let's cut it off. Oh God, Lord in heaven. So let's go back to Matthew the twenty fourth chapter. Read twenty three again, please. Yes, sir. Matthew twenty four verse twenty three. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo. Here is Christ. So there, believe it not. So obviously, our brothers and sisters in Kenya have never read the Bible. For them to believe that this crackhead, this Charles Manson lookalike, is Jesus the Christ. Go ahead. For there shall arise false Christ. There you go right there. For there shall arise false Christ. This goes back to what we read earlier about Antichrist. Christ that would be Con totally biblically contrary. Go ahead. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. Write this down. You see what it says and shall show great signs and wonders? Science. Write that word right there. Science. The white man's science. It ain't talking about those fake uh, faith healings. It ain't talking about that. It's talking about the white man's science. You got a leg missing? Guess who can give you a new leg? White man science. Your teeth fell out your mouth? Guess who can give you some new teeth? White man science. You're blind. Guess who can give you some fake eyes? You saw that in the Avengers when Nick Fury got his eyes scratched out and they gave him a fake eye? You need a new eye? White man science got you. You need a, you, All these things, whatever you need new, the white man science. This is why they believe that they are God. Okay, it's not, it's not talking about these fake miracle healing, fake Fake faith miracle healings. Because if they had power, wouldn't they walk? Why don't they walk through an AIDS ward and heal? Why don't they go to the hospital and heal everybody in the hospital? Because they're all fake and phony. Every last one. When you read the scriptures, remember in the book of Acts, it said Peter's shadow that just touched people, they got healed. Just a shadow passing, the people got healed. So why aren't they doing that? Because they're all fake. So this is not talking about, verse 24 is going into white man science. That's what it's talking about. I'm going to show you that later on in the class. Read that again. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So their signs, their miracles would be so powerful, it would almost deceive the very elect. Now here's the precept. Go to Revelation 13. Here's the precept. Revelation 13, 13. Revelation 13, verse 13. And he doeth great wonders. See that? And he doeth great wonders. So there was the same great signs and wonders is mentioned here. Read it again. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven. So that he makes fire come down from heaven. On the earth. On the earth. Hold that. I'm going to show you this is science. Give me the video. Hiroshima. Here's the evidence of what this is talking about. This is making fire come down from heaven. Start at, uh, I think I want to start at a minute and 23. Let me see if I wrote it down anywhere. I think I want to start at minute 23. Just go into a minute 23. Yeah, right there. Drop the atom bomb. Now it took about 45 seconds from the time the 
bomb left the airplane until it exploded. And I think there wasn't a man in the airplane that wasn't either timing it with his watch or counting or doing something. I was sure the bomb was a dud. I was sure it wasn't going to work. This was World War II, 1945, May. After falling for 43 seconds, the time and barometric triggers started the firing mechanism. A uranium bullet fired down a barrel into a uranium target. Together, they started a nuclear chain reaction. Solid matter began to come apart, releasing untold quantities of energy. So Hiroshima and Nagasaki, August 6th, August 9th of 1945, after World War II. Go back to Revelation 13. This is, and they killed a, and one in Hiroshima. It was 129,000 people killed. In Nagasaki, it was 226,000 people killed. Read that again. Revelation 13 and 13. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Mm-hmm. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. What did it call those? Miracles. <laughs> Notice the wording, miracles. It didn't say science there. It said miracles. And that's what it's talking about. Read verse 14 again. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. So what miracles is he talking about? Fire from heaven. The great wonders. Verse 13. Go ahead. Which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. The white man. Go ahead. Saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. Now let's jump up in the chapter. Let's jump. We're going to get into the explanation of that. Let's jump up in the chapter. We've gone over this many times before. Many times before. Uh, start at verse 1. Nope, give me uh, chapter 12 and verse 3. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 3. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. So this great red dragon is talking about man on earth. Red, why? Because of Genesis 25, 25, regarding Esau. Read that real quick, Officer Leon. Yes, sir. All I want to get to the point, I think it's 25, 25. Genesis 25 and verse 25. And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So this great red dragon is talking about Esau. But it says dragon. I don't, I'm, you're confusing me. Go to Job 30, please. Job 30, verse 29, I believe it is. Job chapter 30 and verse 29. I am a brother. To dragons. I am a brother to dragons. Wicked men. Okay, so go back to Revelation 12 and 3 again. And there appeared, Revelation 12 and 3. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. So this is talking about Esau. This is talking about Esau. Coming up in power. Go ahead. Having seven heads and ten horns. Who can name the seven heads for me? Right there, he had his hand up first. Shalom, Bishop. Welcome back. Um, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about the brother. But, but since you stood up, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Thank you, Joe. I appreciate you. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, you got Greece, Rome, Spain, France, Germany, Russia, and Great Britain. Very good. Okay, okay Joe, since you're standing, give us the uh, ten horns. 
All right, the 10 horns is the 10 common markets. I want to name them. Name them? Yeah. Uh, I know you can. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but Job is right. The 10 common markets. Write this down. I'm going to give them to you. 10 common market, also called the EU, the European Economic Community, also called NATO. NATO is the military side of it. The EU is the economic side of it. Write this down. Belgium, France, Germany. I thought you didn't memorize none of this stuff? Oh, it's in your Bible. Yeah, this, yeah he wrote it down in his Bible. Uh, Italy, Luxembourg, L-U-X-E-M-B-U-R-G-H. Netherlands, Netherlands. Denmark, Ireland. UK, that stands for United Kingdom, and Greece. So the 10 common markets again. Now there's more than that, but these are, their, these are their main ones. Belgium, France, Germany, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Denmark, Ireland, United Kingdom, Greece. I wrote it on my Bible too, I thought. I ain't memorizing all that stuff. Shoot, my head explodes. Boom! Oh, shoot. <laughs> so, back to Revelation 13, verse 1, please. Revelation chapter 13, and verse 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. So this is the same beast that's mentioned in chapter 12. Okay, and in chapter 12, it gives you its color, red. So, but notice here, no, it calls it a beast. So people read that word beast and go, oh, it's talking about a monster, an alien. No, Ecclesiastes 3.18, please. Ecclesiastes 3.18. Remember, the book of Revelation is a huge metaphor, a parable. That's why you have to read the Old Testament writings. Read that. Yes, sir. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 18. I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men that God, that God might manifest them and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. See that? That they themselves, some of mankind, is a beast. Beast. Go back to Revelation 13, please. And what? Revelation 13 and 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. The name of blasphemy. Here's the name of blasphemy. Get uh, Revelation 17, verse 3, then jump to verse 5. What is the name of blasphemy it's talking about? Revelation chapter 17, verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit, into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast. Scarlet is red. Scarlet is red. Red-colored beast. Go ahead. Full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Still talking about the same beast. Verse 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Greek, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. You see, and what's interesting about that, or what, what I always take notice of, is the first word says mystery. It says mystery because you would never believe in your wildest dreams that this white man, who everybody and their mama loves, is the devil on earth. You go, no, not them. They give us foreign aid. They give us food stamps. They give us welfare. They give us public assistance. Impossible. God is saying, no, it's them. Oh, it's them. Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots the ab and abominations of the earth. Didn't Christ call them that in Matthew 24? He called Rome the abominations of desolations. So here John is calling them the abominations of the earth. Same thing. Same group, same people. Let's go back to chapter 13, please. And we're at verse 2. Revelation 13 and verse 2. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, 
and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. Read it again. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. Now, many Christian commentaries, they reference Daniel, the seventh chapter. The Greeks had the animal symbol of the leopard, okay? Ancient Greece, Greece today. Remember Alexander the Greek had a leopard uh, skin hat on his head. That's what he wore. So this kingdom, which is, now remember, in Daniel 7, it's giving you uh, four major empires. The first two was Babylon followed by Persia and Media. Those were not Edomite nations there. But here in Revelation 13, it's telling you that this is one race, one particular race of people divided into seven major kingdoms. And they had ten smaller kingdoms in their support. So, but these are Edomites here in Revelation 13. So here in verse 2 where it says, And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. Those are the Greeks. Then it says, And his feet was as the feet of a bear. Now in Daniel 7, who, was the, who had the symbol of the bear? The Persians and the Medes. But these are not Persians nor Medes. These are Edomites. So what does it mean? It, they took on the characteristics of Persians and Medes as well. Read on. And his feet were as the feet of the bear. And his mouth as the mouth of a lion. Now, also, let me reference the, the bear. Russia is famous for this, having the bear symbol also today. So about that. that's a European kingdom. Uh, read on. And his mouth as the mouth of a lion. Britain had the symbol of the lion. When you read in Daniel 7, Babylon had the symbol of the lion. Okay? In this day and age, Britain also took on that symbol. <laughs> Go ahead. And the dragon gave him his power. Now this dragon here is talking about Satan. Go ahead. Gave him his power. And his seat. And his seat. And great authority. Now how do I know that that dragon there is talking about Satan? When you read Matthew the fourth chapter. Give me that Matthew 4. This was something that uh, Satan said to Christ. Matthew. Uh, you, got, you know what verse I want? Verse 9. Let me hear it. And saith unto him, all these things will... Start above it. Yes, sir. Verse 8. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And saith unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. See what Satan said to Christ? He said, I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world if you will bow down and worship me. Why? Because that power was given to Satan to make you a ruling king, a leader. So he obviously gave it to Rome. Rome, at this time, that's the empire that was ruling during the time of Christ. They had it. And they've held on to it from the time of Renaissance. Go back to Revelation 13. Revelation 13 and verse 2. Oh, 3. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. Write this down. Rome fell in 193 A.D. That's what it means that one of his heads were wounded to death. 193 A.D. Rome fell in 193 A.D. under the hand of Septimius Severus. Go ahead. And his deadly wound was healed. And his deadly wound was healed. 1453 was the Renaissance era. Rome came back in power. 1453. That's an approximate. Go ahead. And y'all can see that in the movie. Uh, what's that? I was referencing with Lawrence, Lawrence Fishburne, uh, Othello. Othello, right? When uh, they were getting all the Moors, what they call Moors, out of Spain, out of Europe. Read that again. And I saw one of his heads as it, as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. Right, because it came back in power around 1453 during the Renaissance. Go ahead. And all the world wondered after. And the all beast. the world wondered after the beast. Go ahead. And they worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped Satan. Go ahead. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Because why? You remember when you checked during, what was it called? The Inquisition and all that. They was getting us all out of Europe. Chasing those of us that they captured, they put in slavery. A lot of our people fled down into Africa, deep in there. Okay, they, although they called us Moors, okay, and they were hunting and chasing us. 
What verse was that? That was verse 4. Go ahead. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. Mm -hmm. And power was given unto him to continue 40 and 2 months. That's, write this down. 40 and 2 months is 350 years. 12 and 42 is 3.5. That's 3 and a half years, which is 350 years. Okay, and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemy. So they spoke against the scriptures. They spoke, and I'm going to give you some examples. I'm going to give you some examples of their blasphemies. You have to go back. If you want a biblical reference, you have to go to the, their predecessors. Predec is that how you say the word? Predecessors. Predecessors. You got to go back to the time of the Greeks. Give me first Maccabees chapter 1. Since this is the uh, season or high holiday of our forefathers, the Feast of Dedication, we're in the Maccabees, rededicated the temple. Let's reference them, what they went through. First Maccabees chapter 1. Let's start at verse 44, please. First Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 44. This is going to give you an idea of a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. Okay? For the king has sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, that they should follow the strange laws of the land. And forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, and that they should profane the Sabbath mm -hmm. and festival days, and pollute the sanctuary and holy people, set up altars and groves and chapels of idols, and sacrifice swine's flesh mm. and unclean beasts, that they should also that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and, pro and profanation. Profanate, profanation, to the end that they might forget the law and change all the ordinances. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. So let's jump up to verse 41. I should have started there. I like that from 41 down. Yes, sir. Verse 41, 1 Maccabees 1, verse 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom, that all should be one people. See that? Democracy all over again. That all should be one people. Go ahead. And everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. So not only did the Greeks. Okay, so what we're showing you what the Greeks did. Esau, the following Rome did the same thing. And as the Renaissance began to go underway, they also followed the same thing. Give me 1 Maccabees 3, verse 48. Speaking great things and blasphemies. Go ahead. 1 Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. So the Greeks started to paint themselves as Adam, as Jacob, as the 12 tribes, as Jeremiah, as Isaiah. Okay? That's what the Greeks started to do, as Micah, Daniel. They started putting their images in the scriptures as our forefathers. That's why it was paramount for them to take the book of the Apocrypha from the regular Bible. That's what they did. Give me Second Thessalonians 2 and 4. So I took you from the Greeks. Now let's jump up. I'm going to show you something. Now often remember, remember Job, I think it's 11 verse 6. Where's the scripture that says uh, the scriptures are double? Where's that one at? That's it? Okay, watch this. Don't get nervous. I'm just going to show you something. Austin Liam, you got it? Job chapter... No, no. Okay, read it, read it, read it. Ricardo. Job chapter 11, verse 6. And that he was showed the secrets of wisdom, that they are double to that which is. To that which is written. So, the secrets of wisdom have double meanings many times. Now go to Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4. Let me show you Second something. Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 4. Watch this. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. So this is talking about the white man. Okay. Read, read the verse above it. Let me show you something. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day I mean, shall that not. That day is so about the second coming of Christ. Shall not come. Go ahead. Except 
There come a falling away first. So before the second coming of Christ comes, the Israelites have to fall away into captivity. That's what it means, except there come a falling away first. Go ahead. And that man of sin. And that man of sin. Be revealed. Be revealed. The son of perdition. The son of hell. Now he's going to give you some uh, uh, descriptive writings about the son of hell, the son of perdition, the man of sin. Go ahead. Who opposeth. And exalteth himself above all that is called God. This is that great mouth speaking blasphemies. They would oppose everything written and exalt themselves above all that is called God. Go ahead. Or that is worship. Or that is worship. So that he as God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. Now, I'm going to show you the duality of that verse right there. When the Greeks took over the temple... What did they put in the temple? Anybody remember? Joe, uh, Jonah. What did the Greeks put in the temple? They set up idols. Like what? Like uh, Jupiter. Yes. Zeus. Exactly. They showed themselves that they are God. Guess what? Rome did the same thing. So when it says, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, the first meaning is exactly what it's saying. They set themselves up in the temple, showing themselves that they are God. So now we often, when we, we y'all hear us bring it out, we often bring it up for this day and age. But remember, Paul was making reference to what they would do in 70 AD, what Rome would do. And that is exactly what they did as they were destroying it. Was that the whole verse? Showing himself that he is God. So everybody with me so far? Yes, sir. Let's go back to Revelation 13. Real quick, go to Daniel 7 and read verse uh, 11. It just goes right along with Revelation 17 or 13. Daniel chapter 7, verse 11. I beheld then because of the voice of the great words. Of the what? The great words. Oh, the great, oh, the um, mouth speaking great things. Same thing, go ahead. Which the horn spake. The horn's America. Well, can you read back in verse 8 of Daniel 7? Go ahead. I beheld even till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame. I say those referring to America because Babylon was not burned. Okay, Babylon was not burned. It's referring to that little horn being America in that verse. So Daniel saw the exact same thing that the Lord showed to John. Okay, that little horn speaking great things. Same exact thing. Exactly. Back to Revelation 13, verse 5. We should have read 5 and 6 together. So write this down. Verse 5 and 6 go together. And the precepts that we reference, 1 Maccabees 1, 44 to 50, 1 Maccabees 3, 48, and 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4 goes with verse 5 and 6. So write that down in your notebook. Read that again. Yes, sir. Revelation 13 and verse 5. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue 40 and 2 months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Now, his tabernacle, look real quick, because people often ask, what is his tabernacle? Go to Acts 746. Acts chapter 7, verse 46. Acts 7, verse 46. Who found favor before God and desired to find a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. Right. So the tabernacle that was being built was the temple wherein the Israelites gathered together. So back to Revelation 13, 6, and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. So what they did was paint themselves as God, Christ, the angels. The, uh, they set themselves up as God. Now remember what we're talking about from verse 3. I don't want you to forget the thought. Verse 3, it says, And I saw one of his heads, as it were, wounded to death. Rome fell in 193. And his deadly wound was healed. When was it healed? Around 1453. This is the Renaissance era. So what we're reading about from 3 down is what Esau did as they started conquering systematically. America has not come into power as yet in this chapter. Read on. Verse 6. 
And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Watch this. Come on. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. Stop. And was given unto him to make war with the saints. To him there is still Edom, this great red dragon with seven heads, ten horns. How did they make war with us? That's why I referenced when they started to conquer us from Rome, Spain. They kicked us out of Portugal. That's what they did with the Moors. But they wasn't finished yet. They captured some of us. Most of us fled into Africa and the Caribbean islands. What happened then in 1492? Because they wasn't finished yet with 1453. They said, you know what? There's another remnant of Israelites on the other side of the world. Let's get them. So what? Queen Ferdinand and Queen Isabella, they funded Christopher Columbus. He took an armada of, war, of soldiers with him. You go on an expedition, what you need soldiers for? He took soldiers. And when y'all see, the, is the clip on YouTube? With Columbus, 1492. Can we look at that real quick? I'm going to show you. Oh, it's going to block us? All right. Well, when y'all get a chance, y'all can look at it. Oh, picture in picture be all right? Okay. Well, but I want them to hear what he says. Oh, yeah, be all right? Okay, all right. 1492. And this is for you Israelites out there that don't believe uh, our uh, so-called Indian brothers and Latino brothers on this side of the world are Israelites. To hell with you. Don't nobody give a damn what you think. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want when he says Ezra's. The reference to Ezra's. All right, so pay close attention. He used the book of Second Ezra's. This was in 1992 they filmed it. Why do you wish to sail west? To open a new route to Asia. Lie. Asia is the richest kingdom, the land of spices and gold. At the moment, there are only two ways of reaching it. By sea, sailing around the African continent, the journey takes a year, or by land. Hey, that's but what the Turks have closed this road to all Christians. There is a third way. By sailing west across the ocean sea. The distance is unknown. It's said to be infinite. Infinite. Watch this. Superstition. I believe the Indies are no more than 750 leagues west of the Canary Islands. How can you be so certain? The calculations of uh, Toscanelli, Maradotti, Esdras. Esdras is a Jew. So what's worse? So what's Christ? Two minutes. And already you're a bad man. So he references so 2 Ezra 13, verse 40 through 45. And he gave the time. He said to go around the Afri Africa takes a year. That's what Ezra said. Okay. So when we go back now to Revelation 13 and verse 7, I want you to pay close attention. Remember, 1453, they began to systematically cast us out from Rome, Spain, Portugal, and we were on the run. All those Edomites banded to those the Khazars and all that came together against us. So here in verse 7, watch this. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. We're the saints. Give me the proof of that. Psalms 149 verse 14. Or is it 148 14? Thank you. We are the saints. The saints are the Israelites. Not all nations on the earth are saints. Psalms 148 verse 14. He also exalted the horn of his people. The praise of all his saints even of the children of Israel. The word even means indeed of the children of Israel. We are his saints. Was that it, Officer Leon? A people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. We are the saints of the Lord. Let's go back to Revelation 13 and 7 again. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. So Esau, Edom, made war with the 12 tribes of Israel, the two kingdoms. He started with Judah. He didn't get all of us. So he, what did he do? He went and get the northern kingdom. 
Go ahead. And to overcome them. What did he do? He overcame us. Okay. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. So, you got to think about what it said. Verse 7 has given us a lot in one verse. He made war against the 12 tribes of Israel and overcame us. So, from 1453... He got a very few of us. He, fled, he cast us out of where we were uh, ruling. He got Northern Kingdom. He made war against them. That was 1492. Then around the 1600s, actually, actually before that, he started to get, he went into Africa and started making deals with the Arabs and the Hamite nations there regarding the Southern Kingdom. Get them out of there. We're going to pay y'all. And what did they do? They brought us all over here to serve chattel, what they call chattel slavery. Chattel slavery is just another word for cattle. Cattle, they treated us like animals. That's what they did, okay? Those of us that had knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, they destroyed us, they killed us, they murdered us. But they left the children alive. And that's why they raised the children up like brute beasts, unable to read, unable to write, okay? Those of us that they that remained behind in Africa, they did, did what? They colonized us. Give me that as evidence. Deuteronomy 28, 32. Give me that. Here's the proof of what I'm saying. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. This is one of the curses that would befall the 12 tribes. Go ahead. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. That's slavery. Go ahead. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And what's heavy about that verse, it says your sons and daughters shall be given unto another people. So where were the parents? They stayed behind. The parents stayed behind. It was the sons and daughters taken. Okay? Because you got these dumb Israelites who don't know the Bible that say there's no Israelites in Africa. You dumb as you just as dumb as the group that says there's no northern kingdom on this side of the world that are Israelites. Two dummies. They need to get in a room together and play dominoes or something. Read on. And thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So the sons and daughters were taken from them, the parents remained behind. Go ahead. And there shall be no might in thine hand. No military might, no economic might, no political might. A lot of times brothers often say, or I used to say it too, why didn't the Af so-called Africa, when we thought we were Africa, why didn't they come get us? God says they would have no might to get us. No might in their hand. Read on. The fruit of thy land. The fruit. This is colonialism now. And this is for the Israelites that remain behind. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. That's the Berlin Conference of the late 1800s when they divided Africa up between the Dutch, the British, the Portuguese, the Germans. Uh, who else? Am I forgetting some people? I know there's a bunch more. I said that already. Give me something I didn't say. Oh, I didn't say France. The French, thank you. They're the demons. There's some more too, but it's going to come. Y'all just, you can Google the, hey, Google that for me. The Berlin Conference. I want a map. So, no, I forgot some of them. Thank you, Jonah. Just Google it. I want to see it on Google. Google, Google. Oh, y'all know December 10th, they're shutting us all down, allegedly. But don't worry about it. Of 1884. Yes, see that map right there? That one. Yeah, let me see. Hopefully I can read it. Can you see, can we see that clear? Let's take a look at the Berlin Conference of 1884. All right, y'all see, this is how they divided. Look, French are the, in green. Spanish was blue. How could I forget Spain? That, it, it, Italians is red. Uh, the gray where it says free, that's America over there. No, not America. That's Ethiopia over there. They always say they weren't colonized. They were colonized for a short period of time. Orange is Britain. Germany is purple there. Belgium is yellow. Uh, Portuguese is green. British is orange. Uh, German, purple. But this was what they did. They sat down at it in 1884 and they divided the entire continent up. That's what they did. All right? So let's go back to Revelation 13, please. So that goes with Deuteronomy 28, verse 33. 
Now we're going back to Revelation 13 and verse 7 once again. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 7. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And they overcame us in slavery. That's how they overcame us, slavery and colonialism. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. So now what's that talking about? Remember, they didn't just stop there. Remember, even Britain went over to China, okay, and they tried to... they ruled China for a short time, and they called it the Boxer's Rebellion. You can see that in a lot of Jet Li movies about the Chinese revolting against Britain. Look, Jet Li, Ip Man, you see those movies with Ip, Ip Man, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Where they were, trying to, they were fighting and kicking the British out, okay? Yes. Right, they gave back Hong Kong in 98, thank you, okay? But over in Africa, mm -mm, they have no might, no power, nothing. Let's read on now. Verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Now I want you to pause there. Pause right there. So after they overcame the saints, the 12 tribes of Israel, and it began to systematically take down the world, it says, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Worship is a thing based upon religion. Remember who we're talking about back in verse 3. Read verse 3 again. I don't want y'all to forget the thought. And I, saw, and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. That was 193 AD. Rome fell. And his deadly wound was healed. That's 1453. The Renaissance era. And all the world wondered after the beast. And all the world wondered after the white man. So back in verse 8 now. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. So something occurred once they conquered us. They started to institute us worshiping them and as we read further down john is going to explain what they did read on whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world if any man have an ear let him hear mm -hmm. he that leadeth into captivity now here's the judgment for verse 7 and verse 8 Here's the judgment. Read it again. He that what? He that leadeth into captivity. Because a lot of times we'll read that, but we won't explain in the chapter what is that based on. We'll just isolate it by itself. Now you have to understand. It's making reference to verse 7 once again. Verse 7, please. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. The 12 tribes of Israel. And to overcome them. They overcame us and enslaved us and colonized us. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Now verse 10. Here's the judgment that Christ is uttering. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword. Because they were killing millions of us. Go ahead. Must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. See that? Here is the patience and the faith of the who? The saints. saints. That's back to verse 7 again. And it was given unto him to make war. With the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Okay, verse 11 now. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. Uh-oh. Now it says another beast. This is America. Write that down. This one here is America. Because as they began to conquer us, remember all those various nations, what happened around 1776? They formed themselves into a more perfect union. To establish uh, justice and domestic tranquility, as the preamble says. Okay, because remember they had to fight Spain. They kicked some of the Spanish out. They had to fight France. They kicked some of the French out. They had to fight Britain. The War of Independence kicked some of Britain out. But those that remained behind, they formed together and called themselves the United States of America of 1776. Read that again, verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. He had two horns like a lamb. Remember, America has a dual political system. You got republics, republicanism and de democracy, Democrats. They're fighting all in the news today. They try to make themselves sound like a Christian society. That's why it says he had two horns like a lamb. They seem Christian, but it says, and he spake as a dragon. Because the things they're putting out are satanic. I'll give you an example. Freedom of religion. That's satanic. But guess what? All those laws that they set up in their constitution was used to benefit the rising of the 12 tribes of Israel. 
Because you think we could have taught what we're teaching now and get away with it? They would have had laws set up to kill us all. So when all those, 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 those uh, amendments and all that was made that some of our fathers died for, Mosai said, we're going to use this to have our sons and daughters rise back up. That's what happened. Read verse 11 again. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Mm -hmm, right. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him. That was Rome. America is based upon Roman ethics, okay, like their senate. I'm gonna give me that in the first Maccabees chapter 8. He exercises all the power of the first beast. Rome followed the same thing Greece did. Okay, but America bases themselves not after Greece because when you think about Greece, I want you to understand this. Why does it say Rome and not Greece? Because Greece was Alexander the Greek united all Edomite nations. What did Rome do? Rome began to bring in other nations into their military, into their army. That's what Rome started to do, bring other nations. I'll give you an example. Cornelius was a Roman centurion. He was not an Edomite. Okay? You look at the movie, uh, what's that show called? Spartacus. The, um, uh, and what's the one with Marcus Aurelio? What's his name? Gladiator. Marcus Aurelio, you have other nations. Rome started to incorporate other nations into their military. Okay? Where did I say go? First Maccabees 8. I want the Senate. Yes, sir. Verse uh, 15. Right. First Maccabees 8 and 15. Now, Rome took this from Greece. Go ahead. Moreover, how they had made for themselves a Senate a house. A what? A Senate house. Mm -hmm. Wherein 320 men sat in council daily, consulting away always for the people. So the to concept, the, was that it? I just want that verse. To the end, they might be well ordered. To the end that they might be well ordered. So a Senate, Greece established it, Rome followed it, and America got that from Rome. So that's what it's going into when we go back to verse uh, 12 again. Revelation 13 and 12. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them. You ever notice on a dollar bill you got Roman numerals? You ever notice the days of the week but based on Roman gods? The months are based on Roman gods? Okay, the planets are based upon Roman gods. So read verse 11 again, I mean verse 12 again. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast mm -hmm. whose deadly wound was healed. You ever notice on the dollar bill they got Latin words on there? Like Novus Ordo. So that's Latin. That's from Rome. New World Order. Uh, a new, uh, what is it? An, a pluribus unum for many one. Uh, a new, what is the other one? A new coeptus. Uh, our enterprise and success. So. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him. That was Rome. America followed all the power of ancient Rome. And caused the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Okay, the Renaissance. Verse 13, please. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. That was America. America did this. It wasn't Spain. It wasn't France. It was America. Go ahead. And deceiveth them. And they them. dropped the atom bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, August. Verse 14. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Well, his other allies. Go ahead. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. So make an image in honor of Rome. That goes back up to verse 8. Jump up to verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Because once they conquered us, it was easy for them to put that image of Caesar Borgia as what? As Christ. And they forced us during the time of slavery and colonialism to worship him. So back in verse 14 again, read 14 again. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. So that image of Caesar Borgia, that image comes from Rome. Rome. 
Rome. Leonardo da Vinci was hired to paint Caesar Borgia, who was the second son of Alexander the Sixth of Rome, as Jesus the Christ. Read that again. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Pause which- there. Watch this. Go back to Matthew 24. I just I don't want y'all to forget the thought. I mentioned it several times, but I believe some of you have forgotten the thought of Matthew 24, 24. Matthew 24 and verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. Uh-oh, false Christ. And false prophets. False prophets to substantiate the false Christ. And shall show great signs and wonders. And shall show great signs and wonders. Go ahead. Insomuch that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. Now go back to Revelation 13. Start at 13 and 14. Let's look at them together. Saying the same thing. Revelation 13 and 13. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. That was August 1945, World War II. They bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Fire from heaven. Go ahead. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. What miracles? The miracles of calling fire from heaven. That great wonder. Go ahead. Which he had power to do. In the sight of the beast. He had power to do that in the sight of the beast, meaning his other allies, the other allies. Go ahead. Saying to them that dwell on the earth. This goes back to Rome now. That they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. Mm-hmm. Give me that. Give me the sketches. Give me this uh, Leonardo da Vinci sketches. It's on the internet. I know it is. Let's see what Rome did. Um, sketches. I don't know if sketches of Jesus, sketches of Caesar. I'm not sure how to how it's worded, but it's there. No, not that. Nope, nope, nope. Leonardo. Oh, right there, that first one. That's one of them, but there's more. Give me, uh, uh, keep going, keep going. Nope, that ain't it. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Mm-hmm. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You might have to put in sketches of Caesar. Caesar Bourget. Sketches Caesar. Yep, there they go right there. That's it. Those are the sketches. You can find that in a book written by Marion Johnson entitled The Borgias. That's Caesar Borgia. Those are the sketches Leonardo did of him as the Renaissance Jesus. Okay? So back in verse, uh, Liam, Revelation 13, verse 7 and 8 again. Keep that on the screen. Revelation 13, verse 7. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. You got to think about it. They, they, they made war against us. They overcame us. And then it says we worshiped him. So that's what they did. They put this image out as the new Jesus. Okay. So it's never the thought that it's not that. Remember. The Bible existed way before Rome, way before that. It was from the, since the time of Adam was being written and constructed, okay? So we've always had the scriptures, but what happened when they conquered us, they made war against us and overcame us, made us into brute beasts. It was easy for them to force that image. And as we read down, it's going to say how they got us to worship him as Jesus. Back down to verse 14, Officer Leo. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. Right. Meaning what? They fell in 193, but came back alive during the Renaissance around 1453. That's what it means. A wound by a sword and did live. Go ahead. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Whose life did they give that image? They gave that image the life 
of Christ. They didn't say, oh, this is Caesar Borgia and worship him. No, they said this is Jesus Christ. They gave the life of Christ to the image of Caesar Borgia. Go ahead. That the image of the beast should both speak. Now, how does that image speak? Give me the next video. Give me that video. This is how that image speaks. It goes back to Esau's technology, their science. Yep. I guess they're going to block us too. Let me just, just jump ahead. Go uh, go ahead to like, uh, just skip ahead. Let me see something. Right there, right there, go, go, go. right there, go ahead. Right there. Fulfilled. Go back a little bit before that. Go back a little bit. Picture and picture. Can we do picture and picture so they don't block us on YouTube? Give me picture and picture, please. The okay. Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to give good tidings to the poor. With his British accent. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. He's reading with Isaiah 6. Preach deliverance to the captives. To give right, sight to the blind. Going to. To set at liberty them that are bruised. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. Bastards! Listen to this. Well, here come. Watch this. If anybody do the sign of the cross, throw them out. Today, In your hearing, the scriptures are fulfilled. Oh, God. All right, cut that thing off. So when we go back to Revelation 13, this is how this image speaks. They find an actor who looks similar to Caesar Bourget and put him in their movies and quotes the words of Christ. They got a video. Say it on the mic so people can hear. Everybody's not on group me. Yeah, they're taking it a step further. They got a new video game coming out. If you see the link. You see the you link? Could, you could show them. But uh, it's a, it's like the movie, uh -huh. except you could play it. And, wow. And uh, heal people. Wow, you I, see that? I don't that? know anything else the game does. Wow, wow. This is crazy. They're trying to get our sons and daughters for show. Nobody can hear you, Zeph. Wisdom, who got the mic? They got a movie coming out with a... With a Your mic isn't on? Yeah, it's on. Okay, go ahead. They got a movie coming out with an East Indian messiah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He looks he, he looks more like an Edomite anyway. All right. Look, watch a trailer for I Am Jesus Christ, a game where you play through Jesus' life. Let's go down. Let me take a Damn. look. I ain't never saw this crap. This is some malarkey. This is some crap. Go down. Let me look at it. Where's the video? Okay, play that. Let me see. Are oh, those supposed to be the 12 disciples? Are they going to block us on this? They're not going to block us. Look at this. What the hell is this? Caesar. Caesar Bonger. The hell? Ugh. Ugh. The hell is this? The hell? Don't have me out! Watch and read is so so important. This is war. If y'all don't realize this is war, he need that dude need to be on the cross. Let's <laughs> stay there. <laughs> the hell is this? The flying nun. You millennials don't know the flying nun, but the older crowd, y'all know the flying nun. Uh also Leon, where are we at? Verse 15. Verse 15 once again. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. He that, gave the, that image the life of Christ. Go ahead. 
that the image of the beast should both speak. Now we saw an example of how that image speaks. Now you ever see those Jehovah Witness comic books where they say nobody knows what Jesus looked like? I always catch him with it. I said, nobody knows what he looked like. Can I see one of your comic books? Then you see a, a white guy talking. You see the air bubble. Come unto me, all ye that labor in a heavy life. I said, who's that? Jesus. Didn't you just say nobody know what he looked like? You're a bunch of black liars. Because they be lying. Yep. Them black women can lie their behinds off. And my, I'm saying it because my mama-in-law is one of them. I used to hammer up all the time. My wife know. She said, nobody knows what Jesus looked like. Because she says that after I show her Revelation 1. She reject that. I say, if nobody knows it, who's this white guy in your comic book? Oh, you just think you're so smart. <laughs> you lying bunch of Christians. Where we at, Officer Liam? Verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak. Now we saw an example of how that image speaks. Go ahead. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Go back to verse 7 and 8 now. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. He made war against the 12 tribes of Israel. And to overcome them. He overcame us in slavery and colonialism. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Go ahead. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. So what happened if we didn't worship? Got bottom of verse uh, 15 again. And, and cause, cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. That's how we became Christians. That is how we became what's termed mo these modern day Christians. Worshipping this false image. That's what happened to us. Go ahead. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. Meaning what? Small nations and great nations of people. To great, no, read it again. Yes, sir. And he causeth all, both small and great. Small nations and great nations. Meaning what? Third world nations. Okay. You have uh, free world nations also. Go ahead. Rich and poor. Rich nations and poor nations. It's still going into the free nations and uh, third world. Go ahead. Free and bond. Free and bond. Go ahead. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. What's in your forehead? Your brain. Meaning what? They would teach a philosophy to us for us to believe in. And when it says, or in our, our hand, in our right hands, we would support it. We would support whatever they taught us. So this mark is going into their policies. That's what it's going into. Their policies. Now, in order to reference that, in the Bible, let's see what happened during the time of the Maccabees. Since this is the Feast of Dedication. Give me 1 Maccabees 8. I, must, I want verse 24, 26. First their articles are written on, their policies are written in what's called art, art, articles. Duh. Stuttering and stammering. Go ahead. First Mac, let me get it first. Y'all know y'all faster than me. Just bear with me. Here we go. 1 Maccabees 8, verse 24 to 26. Watch this. 1 Maccabees 8 and 24. If they come... This is what Rome is telling Judah Maccabee. If there come first any war upon the Romans or any of their confederates throughout all their dominion, the people of the Jews shall help them as the time shall be appointed with all their heart. Watch this. Neither shall they give anything unto them that make war upon them. So it says neither shall they give anything unto them that make war upon them upon Rome. Go ahead. Or aid them with victuals. Or aid them with food. Weapons. Don't aid them with weapons. Money. Now, that's what I'm getting to right now. Or money. This is key for Revelation 13. Go ahead. Or ships. Or ships. As it hath seemed good unto the Romans. As it hath seemed good unto the Romans. But they shall keep their covenants. They shall keep their covenants, without, their agreements. Without taking anything, therefore. Without taking anything, therefore. Now, there's a part in here. Who knows what it is? Who can just look for it real quick? It uses the word articles. Verse 29. 29, thank you. According to these articles, did the Romans make a covenant with the people of the Jews? So now, the Jews, when you read the next chapter, Judah and them didn't believe nothing Rome said. I believe it's chapter 9 where Judah Maccabee dies, if I'm not mistaken. Chapter 9, he dies. Because they didn't believe what Rome was saying. Because when Greece came against them, Rome didn't come help. Rome did not help the Jews against Greece. 
They had these articles written up and it was all fluff. It was all lies. It was all deceit. And Judah Maccabees and them knew that thing. So they didn't fall for the, for the lies. Just like when you see with the American Indians and they said, uh, sign this treaty and sign this treaty. And it, and it got to the point where the tribe of Gad was like, why, why do we keep signing this? No, remember, Reuben didn't believe nothing. The Seminoles didn't believe nothing the white man wrote down. Right, there's a clip. In one of those movies, Hell on Wheels, they didn't believe nothing the white man wrote. Gad kept falling for it over and over and getting jacked up. Let's go back to Revelation 13. Revelation 13 and verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand. Now, some people keep talking about, oh, the mark is the RFID chip. The radio, what does it stand for? Radio frequency, frequency identif identification. What does it stand for? Radio frequency identification. Only thing that's good for is finding black women that's getting their behinds kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. You can find them there because those that's a homing device. That's all that is. This is not talking, let me tell you, this, what we're reading, is not talking about a homing device finding people. As we read down, it's going to explain what it's talking about. What verse did you leave off at? That was verse 16. And that no, okay. and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Another phrase for buying and selling. That's what, it's, that's what the mark is making reference to, buying and selling. That deals with trade. That deals with commerce. Like you got um, the WTO, World Trade Organization. That's one organization. Uh, write that down. huh? Federal Reserve as well. they sanction the right. You got the Federal Reserve. Thank you. That's like the head honcho. You got the United States Department of Commerce that deals with trade, buying, and selling. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I didn't write nothing down. Oh, the IMF, International... Monetary fund, okay. Those are the three main ones. You, the four, you got the U.S. Treasury Department, U.S. Department of Commerce, I, IMF, and WTO, World Trade Organization. Those are the main. There's a lot, but there's a lot. They have a system set up dealing with buying and selling. So it's not just those four major ones. They got they got subgroups under that. Read verse 17 again. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. What happens when you don't accept America's policies? You get sanctioned, or they put in them, a sanction is against, let's say Deacon Ithan makes all this right here. America could say, well, I want to sanction this thing here. No one buy or sell that. A sanction could be something individual. An embargo would be the entire, your, his entire country, everything. Every, everything's cut off from him, everything. No nation, let's say you're all nations, none of you, all of you are forbidden to do business by yourself from him. That's what they do. Or if they just put a sanction on, on his mic or his Bible, whatever, you can't buy those items. America's very meticulous in what she does in terms of buying and selling. Read 17 again. And that no and you see it, hey, type in, uh, uh, current sanctions or embargoes today. I want to see what is it. You know what I'm talking about? Google something for today. I don't want 10 years ago. I want now. Current embargoes, current sanctions. Not sanctions, it's sanctions. Yeah, current. Go say something like that. Yeah, yeah. Read um, verse 17 again. Verse 17. One verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell. You can do a business, commerce. Go ahead. Save he that had the mark. Had the mark. Go ahead. Or the name of the beast. So he that had the mark or the name of the beast. So the mark of the beast or the name of the beast. Go ahead. Or the number of his name. Go to 1411. Revelation 14, verse 11. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. This goes back to what I said in Daniel about that little horn being burnt in the fiery flame. Go ahead. And they have no rest day nor night. That's the dead people who died worshiping him. Go ahead. Who worship the beast. Uh-huh. A white his, man. And his image. Christianity. Go and ahead. whosoever receives the mark of his name. The what? The mark of his name. The what? The mark 
of his name. The mark of his name. Is it a microchip with his name on it? Is that what it is? Or the mark of his name. It's going back to his philosophies again. So going into a chip with his name on it. There's a mark of his name. I have not seen any chip that says Esau and they put it in your eye or put it in your hand. It's retarded. It's a retarded doctrine. You understand? It's going into his philosophies and his doctrines. That's what it's going into. Exactly. His policies and so forth or his articles that you don't subject yourself to. Uh, go back up. Go back up. Uh, up, up, up. Click that right there and go all the way down. Just go down. Click out. Yeah, go down, go down. It got to be a list. Go down. Let me see. Go down. Go down. Come, okay. Go down. Go down. Go down. Okay. Iran, 1979. Go down. Go down. 1950. Uh, go down. Go down. Okay. Who's that? Venezuela. There's one against Venezuela. International sanctions during the Venezuelan crisis. That's the latest one. But I believe they got one on Russia and Iraq to this day. But this doesn't go into any more details. Country. Okay. Belarus. Belize. Wait, here's some more. Go down, Bolivia. Okay, these are all people that they have sanctions on. Central African Republic, China, Comoros, Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, Eritrea. Yeah, to showing you the, the to showing you the power that men. Libya, have. Iraq, Mauritania. So these are all the places that America put yeah. sanctions on. They go Russia, Russia too. Go ahead, South Sudan. So y'all see all these things. These are people that, so what we're reading in the Bible, we're witnessing it on the news, in the media, where America gets mad at a nation who will not ab ab abide by their policies and they will put sanctions and or an embargo on them. Everybody see that? Okay, let's go back. Oh, you know what? One thing I did forget. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to come back here. But uh, while we were in Sierra Leone, they, was, they often said, some of the people, the Christians, no, Uganda, they would say such things as, it doesn't matter what Jesus you worship as long as you obey his teachings. But remember at the beginning of the class, we went over about another Jesus, another spirit, and another gospel. You can't have another Jesus and have the true gospel. If you got a false Jesus, you have a false gospel. Go to Revelation 14. Since you went to 14, 11, you reminded me. Start at verse 9. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 9. This is for those of you that say it doesn't matter if he's black or white. Go ahead. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, and his image. Any man worship the white man and his image. That's the white image of Jesus. Go ahead. And receive his mark in his forehead. You receive his philosophies, his policies in your mind. Or in his hand. Or you support it with your hands. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. Uh-oh. Go ahead. Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of of the holy angels wow. and, the, and in the presence of the Lamb. Go ahead. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. So you're not going to escape. Go ahead. And they have no rest day nor night. You will have no rest day nor night. Go ahead. Who worship the beast. Who worship the white man. And his image. And his image, that white image of Jesus. And whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. You believe all that America puts out. So... This goes with 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse, uh, is it 14? Let me look at it. Liam, it says that they all might be damned. That one. Damned is in the Bible. Don't say, oh, he's cursing. I'm not cursing. I'm going to give you what the scripture says. Verse 10. It's verse 12 is what I want. But verse, start at 10. Yes, sir. Second this goes with what we read in Revelation 14, verse 9 through 11. You want to worship that image and you got his philosophies in your mind. You want to support it? Go ahead. Here you go. Verse 2 Thessalonians 2 and 10. And with all deceivableness. Hey, you know what? Look at verse 9. Yes, sir. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. Remember it said the dragon gave them their power and their seat. Go ahead. With all power and signs and lying wonders. You see that? All power, signs and lying wonders. Those are the miracles we read about in chapter 13. 
Those are the wonders we read about in Matthew 24 saying the same thing. Go ahead. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness. And with all deception of unrighteousness. Go ahead. And them that perish. And them appointed to die. Just talking about our people right here. Because they receive not the love of the truth. You don't want to believe the Bible the way the Israelites are teaching it. You want to believe modern day Christianity. Go ahead. That they might be saved. That you might be saved. Go ahead. And for this cause. And for this cause. God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Right. You're delusional now. Oh, Jesus, heal me. Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, when I prayed to Jesus, my rheumatism went away. Oh, when I prayed to white man, Jesus, he healed me. So God will send you strong delusion that you should believe a lie. Because there's no more. Your belief is not based on biblical writings. Your belief is based on your feelings and whatever thus saith the white man. Go ahead. That they all might be damned. You see the word damned is right there. That's what we read in Re Revelation 14, 9 through 11. All them people that shall be tormented who worship his image and his name. And uh, I'm paraphrasing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Read that again. That they all might be damned. Damn you. Damn the devil to hell. Go ahead. Who believe not the truth. You, you and your mama. Your mama don't want to believe the truth. Okay. Go ahead. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. We ain't got to keep no commandments. God's laws are did away with. You're going to be damned. You, mama, daddy, y'all going to be damned. Hmm. Go back to Revelation 13. Revelation 13. We're almost done. Revel See, the Aitan say I'm, I'm going to keep myself on the timetable. Revelation 13. Thank you, Aitan. And verse... Uh, 15 again. Let's start there and go down. Yes, sir. Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So that deals with his religions. Now, the next part, verse 16 down, deals with his politics. Go ahead. And he causeth all, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. You know what's amazing about, now this deals with their economics. This deals with their politics of economics. Let me word it like that. This deals with their politics of economics. You go, we got some money from Uganda, right? We came back, Deacon Lob and I, we had, uh, it, when you transfer it to American dollars, it equals 200 American dollars. But it's this thick. So we go to trans, what is, what's the word? Uh, exchange it for American dollars. The lady looks at it. She says, we don't do this here. She says, take it to your bank. Go to the bank. Can you transfer? They said, no, we're not taking that. We, we. I'm like, so this was, they pressed it. I'm like, why not? She says, maybe Uganda's on a list, but right now America is not transferring, exchanging their money right now. She said, the only thing I can suggest is just hold on to it. And maybe in the future, they can exchange it for you. Now, this is a shame. 3,000 uh, 3, 3, shillings, that's Uganda's money, equals one United States dollar. Okay. Hey, you wasn't with us, and Sarah, it was funny. If y'all saw the picture, y'all would laugh. We, I'll go into the room, the brothers is counting the money because we got broke out there. And the money was from the floor to this high. Man, I said, yo, you look, we look like we balling. Look at all this money. $400. It was stacked this high all around. I said, somebody just took a snapshot and put it on the internet. They think we was balling forever. Yeah, little did you know. Little did you know. He's a deceiving spirit. Exactly. So <laughs> back to, and you got to think about it. The IMF is the one, International Monetary Fund. Uh, this, what's the other group? International Monetary Fund. What's the other group? Federal Reserve, World Bank. World Bank, right, that's what I want, World Bank. These are the guys that sit back in Washington, D.C. and tells you how much your money is worth. You, meanwhile, like in Sierra Leone, the diamonds are there, but they tell them your money's garbage. It doesn't, it's not worth anything. Meanwhile, they're just taking all of the, and guess what? The nation's got to abide by that. They got to follow that thing. Or well, guess what? What will happen? They'll get sanctioned, an embargo go on them. Nobody is allowed to do business with them, ever. Yeah, Bishop, uh, remember, 
they're the one who make the money for their country. Yes. After they tell you what your money worth, they're printed for you. <laughs> That's like a, a against. Yeah, exactly. Read that again, 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Mm, that's their policies, go ahead. And that no man might buy or sell. That's say, doing business. No man might do business. Trade, go ahead. Save he that had the mark. You had to follow their policies. Mm -hmm. Or the name of the beast. That's America. Or they the, had a head honcho. Um, believe it, America is the head honcho. It's not Britain and it's not the Vatican. You always get these blacks that go, oh, it's the Vatican. It ain't the Vatican. Go ahead. Or the number of his name. He's going to explain the number of his name in the next verse. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. So it's telling you that this is a man. Not an individual man, but a mankind. The white man. What man is this? Esau. Edom. Go ahead. And his number is 600, three score, and six. So 666 represents Esau. That is Esau's number. It's a number of destruction. Okay. Six seals, six trumpets, six vial. We, go in, we know, went over that in another class. Bishop. Yes. Before we move on, to the people that say that a time is going to come that they're going to round everybody up and stick a microchip in you, I need you to explain this right here. Could you read verse 17 again? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. So they say that that's, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get a chip stuck in you, right? right. Read the next part. Yep. Or the name. So of now the they're going to come and ask you, do you have a name also behind the microchip? What's the next one? Or the number of his name. So they're telling you it's three different oh. things. And you have Israelite camps saying, beware of a day that they're going to come and round you up and stick a chip in you. But the Bible just says it's going to be a mark. A name or a number. It's or. It's or. Right. Or, yeah. or. 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 Everybody's not going to get a, a, a chip put in. This destroys anything of saying that this is going to happen to every single person and then you're going to be condemned. Why would there be an or there? And it's optional for other things. Is the white man going to come and say, okay, what do you want? The chip or my name? Oh, you want my number? You can't buy or sell unless <laughs> you, you have my mark, right. my name. <laughs> or my, number, or my number. number. Look at this hair. How mad that sounds. Why are there three different options if they're telling you that a day is going to come that they're going to stick a chip in you? Could you refuse to say, no, I don't want the chip. Just write your name on my forehead. <laughs> or write your number down and let me put it in my wallet. It makes no sense just based on that or, or the name. It makes absolutely... Go to the buyer's cell. You got to say Esau. Uh... I want a box. I want a pack of chicken. Esau. Okay, here you go. It's chicken. Right. It's chicken. Sound retarded, man. So this destroys anything about a microchip. Exactly. Go to Revelation 12 real quick. Make sure y'all underline or in that verse in your Bibles. Or. When you're teaching in the camp, you can... They might remove it. Yeah, it <laughs> the might. new Bibles now. Yeah. What verse is Bishop? We're going to start at 9. We're almost done. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. Which deceiveth the whole world. Now, again, remember what we read in Job 11, verse 6. That, uh, how did it go? Anybody remember? Double. How did it go? The secrets of wisdom are double. A lot of times, well, Christian commentaries, they'll read about the great dragon that was cast out, the old serpent called the devil and Satan, and just say, oh, it's a spiritual demon. No, this goes with the white man. This also goes with the white man. Go ahead. Which deceiveth the whole world. Right. And he was cast out into the earth. Mm -hmm. And his angels were cast out with him. His angels are his allies. Go ahead. Britain's going down with him. Okay. Go ahead. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accuseth them before our God day and night. So that's Satan and the white man. Go ahead. And they you cut on the news, niggas ain't no damn good. Go ahead. <laughs> and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. This is how we're going to overcome, brothers and sisters, by the blood of the lamb. What Christ did for us, that's how we're truly going to overcome. But you cannot be in the midst of sin saying, oh, I'm going to overcome because I believe on Jesus. No, it don't work like that. Go ahead. 
and by the word of Read their, again. Oh, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. And when it talks about the word of their testimony, give me that precept in Psalms 132. This is talking about God's testimony, not your personal testimony. God don't want to hear that. Everybody in here got a testimony. It's malarkey. You know why it's malarkey? Because today you believe, tomorrow you're mad in all the leadership of the devil and you leave. So your personal testimonies, our personal testimonies are garbage. The testimony that's going to help us overcome is Psalms 132, verse 11 and 12. Psalms 132, verse 11. The Lord has sworn it in truth unto David. He will not turn from it. Of the fruit of thy body will I set, up upon, will I set upon the throne. If thy children will keep my covenant and my testimony. See that? that? If thy children will keep my covenant and my testimony. Not your testimony. His testimony. Go ahead. That I shall teach them. That I shall teach them. Where does he teach us from? The Bible. Go ahead. Their children shall also sit upon thy throne forevermore. Their, our children will sit upon the thrones forevermore. Read it again, verse 11. Now let's see. He's going to tell you what the testimony is. The Lord hath sworn in truth unto David. He will not turn from it. Of the fruit of thy body. See that? Of the fruit of thy body. Talk, what's the fruit of his body? Sperm. Mm. Go ahead. Will I set upon the th thy throne? Will I set upon thy throne? Meaning what? Christ came from the seed of David. That's the testimony God wants to hear. That the Messiah comes from the sperm of David. That immaculate conception y'all running around with is garbage. Go ahead. If thy children will keep my covenant and my testimony that I shall teach them. We got to believe his covenant and the testimony regarding his son. Go ahead. Their children shall also... Sit upon thy throne forevermore. That's the only way our people are going to rule on this earth. Back to Revelation 12 again, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. We're going to overcome Satan. We're going to overcome the beast. Go ahead. And by the word of their testimony. Which is the testimony that God taught us. Go ahead. And they love not their lives unto the death. Now watch this. You know, I forgot. It just popped into my mind again. Put this in your notes. Revelation 13, 17 again. Revelation 13 and verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell. Stop. Here's the precept. Revelation 18, 11. Revelation 18 and verse 11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. Over for, Babylon. Go ahead. For no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Buy what? Go ahead. The merchants... The merchandise of gold. Now, you see that verse 11 where it says, and the merchants of the earth. Write this down because we don't use that word anymore in modern day English, merchants. The modern day word we use is what? Corporations. Industries. That's what this is talking about. Read it again from 11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. Over America. For no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. What's their merchandise? Go ahead. The merchandise of gold mm. and silver mm. and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all fine wood. And you know what? All these things that we're reading, you know where you could find these things at? The continent of Africa. Go ahead. And purple and silk and scarlet and all fine wood. Yes, they have silk in Africa. Off The island of Madagascar mm. produces silk. Go and ahead. scarlet and all fine wood. In all manner of vessels of ivory, in all manner of vessels of most precious wood, and of brass, and iron, and marble, and cinnamon, and odors, and ointments, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and souls of men. See, that's what's being sold. I wanted them last two words, slaves and souls of men. So from the beginning of the Renaissance era, the only ones that got involved with the slave trade are those that agreed with America's policies or with the policies that were being set up during that time. Okay? That's, those are the nations that got involved with all of this buying and selling. So this is not talking about a black or Latino in Harlem trying to buy a snicker bar. I want to buy a snicker bar. Do you got the mark, the chip in your hand? The name in it? It ain't talking about that. 
This is about corporations, industries. That's what it's talking about. It's not, you know, these damn Christians get on my dag on there, and these Israelites that follow behind it, they're crazy as hell. Okay. Now, I'm not saying they're not trying to make up an RFID chip. They are, but that's a radio frequency identification chip. That's how they locate people. They put that in your dog and your cat when you lose them. That is not what this is talking about. This is talking about all your phones. Right. All, of, all your phones got that. You're right. This is talking about buying and selling on a major level. It's not talking about Tyrone or Raheem buying sneakers. It ain't talking about that. Everybody understand that? Okay, well, giving all praises to the Lord, I pray that you brothers and sisters got something out of today's lesson. Okay. We have any uh, um, announcements? Y'all know that the uh, concert is, when is the concert? Hey, Zakai, where's Zakai? Zakai, where you at? Where's Zakai? Tell Zakai to come. Zakai, why don't you uh, tell us all about the con upcoming concert? Yes. Uh, Put your heart in. Say it with your chest. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The uh, Now, the concert is going to be on December 22, all right? So that's December 22nd for everybody. If y'all need tickets, go to see the camp leader of the school that you're at, all right? Um, we slice the prices from $70 to $40, all right? From $70 to $40, all right? Because what? We're trying to get y'all to come. All right, and so the, for the people who spent the seventy dollars already, um, what are we doing? We giving that money back? I heard something different that we're gonna be. I don't, uh, Captain Yashua and Officer Natchemaya. They're gonna, they might, they're doing something, of course. With, okay, but I, I'll, I'll, when we find out, we'll let them know. They'll okay. be compensated. Yeah. Okay, they will, they will okay, that's a good one. You, you brothers and sisters, you will be compensated. Last night I said you were gonna get your money back. I spoke too soon, but there will be a compensation. When we find out, we're gonna let you guys know. So that's all. Uh, December twenty-two in Atlanta. All right. Uh, in Atlanta, we want the Atlanta people. Obviously, y'all there. We're looking for y'all to be the most in the school. North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida. Alabama, Florida. We're looking for y'all. New York is going to be there. I know Philly's coming through. Detroit going to be there. Um, it's going to be a historic moment. That's all I can tell you. It's the first time it's done on this level. So everybody come through. We're going we're gonna to make history. Shalom. All praise to the Lord. Uh, Captain Zeff, we got any more announcements? Oh, what I said about Captain O'Shea uh, with me, Maya, that was jokes. It was all jokes. So, you know, people get simple. Go ahead. What we got, Captain Zeff? So, as you all know, we have the Passover in North Carolina. All right. Make sure y'all register and um, get the password from your camp leader if you, for all those who are in good standing. All right. We're going to show the promo video, get y'all ready, get y'all in the spirit. is my protection not enough behind the wheel when i'm stressing on the road to a blessing in the wrong intersection wisdom my profession while we out here on the front line in the midst of the battle we call cap when it's crunch time used to spit verses in the lunch line now i'm in a different space in the lord letting his sun shine as the world's been on this axis it's people in the hood they still deep in a coma 
While the laws is what we practice is people up in mansions Still spiritually homeless Down here in the valley of the beach like we Jonah IUIC, this world we finna shake up So you can't get your beauty sleep if you wanna But if I was you, I'd stay true Cause it's time to wake up Come on Pass over, your brothers, your sister come through, man. It's gonna get hot up in here. And pass over, cause we taking it to the another state. So your brothers, man, especially around this, uh, you got Florida, you got. We should be good. I want to say, but your brothers come, especially New York, man. Y'all be playing game too much. Y'all come and represent the big city. All right, and um. What is this? In Rochester, Officer Isaac is officially and has changed his name officially. He's no longer a Greek. All praise. All right. All praise. His official name is. You see that, Isaac. Deacon Laba? You see that? You see that? All praise. Hey, have you see that? All praises. You see that? All praises. Some good All stuff right here. All praises. Let me think. His official oh, name you're is you're Isaac right. Abaya Israel. Yeah. White, uh, white power. You got to get a All right. <laughs> You hear that, Deacon Yawasop? You heard that? Hey, yeah, Deacon Yawasop. Hey, Deacon Abio, you heard that? <laughs> <laughs> all praises. All right. So, as you all know, we have we have a concert, the first of its kind in Israel, happening, Lord's Will, in two weeks. And um, the hits keep coming from original royalty. We have the artist, Enos Zakor, with his new song, Famous Men. Conception by conception, now we know how Christ was born. Moses' head wasn't straight, and his eyes wasn't blue. Man, the church got us fooled. Man, these Edomites is doomed for the words that they spake in the lies. That they told back of bonds from the womb, it go deeper than that. Talking Cain and Abel back, and their judgment won't be slack. It was all prophesied. Famous men don't lie in the book. I open up my Bible, see it's full of famous men from the beginning of Genesis to Revelations. And I, 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 I open up my Bible, see it's full of famous men. All praise to the Lord, all praises, all praises. All praises, all praises. So that's the artist Enos Zakor. All right, and he, the brother has an album dropping tonight on Original Royalty. It's called God Made. It's good stuff, man. Yeah, come and get it. Bro. Yeah, put the album. Yeah, yeah, man. Israel, make sure you cop that tonight. What it says, Akai? There it is. That's the album cover, God Made by Eno Sakur. It's available on Original Royalty, the website, and uh, also 
all streaming streaming platforms. All right, iTunes, Spotify, what else? Title, Apple Music. So original royalties on fire. We on a roll. A lot of music coming out of original royalty. Yeah. No stop. Hey. Hey, that's why, that's why you brothers and sisters, as I'm brothers bringing out the concert we doing out there in Atlanta, is the first time something like this being done. We doing it, it's not a mediocre thing. We taking it to another level. You understand? So as I tell you all, in order for us to do things and accomplish things is when we work together. You understand? So you brothers and sisters out there in in um in South Carolina, North Carolina, Atlanta, that's driving distance, all of you are supposed to be there, man. You know, you all that's in Atlanta. It should be no reason why brothers and sisters in Atlanta say saying, I ain't going. What's going on? It's right there. You know, you right there in the state. And it's on a Sunday. And it's on a Sunday. It's no reason for you to say, I'm not going. That, that don't make no sense to me. You understand what I'm saying? So your support, man, as I said, the only, the only reason we are able to do the things we do is when we work together. You understand? So you brothers and sisters in Miami, um, Atlanta, South Carolina, North Carolina, we got brothers in New York coming through. Jacksonville. You understand? You know, you brothers and sisters in Jacksonville, your support, man. Let's, 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 let's make this happen out there. You understand? You know? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, man. I will be signing your autograph. Don't worry. I'm coming. <laughs> Oh, are you doing your song, Lava? Yeah, yeah, with no doubt, Bishop. I'm, I'm glad, not coming. I'm, I'm, not going. I'm, not going. <laughs> I'm glad you acknowledged that, Bishop. I will be signing you an autograph as well. <laughs> hey, I want to add something to what Deacon Malachi just said about us making history with the music and what we're doing. Because remember, for a long time, there was no music to praise God or for Israel. Y'all listening to Drake. Y'all listening to Lil Wayne. Y'all listening to Nicki Minaj. All that garbage, right? Give me Psalms chapter 9, verse 11. It's very important that y'all are in this mindset as we're putting the music together and you're supporting the music and we're magnifying the Lord. This is what the Lord wants in, his, in the music. Psalms 9, verse 11. Psalms chapter 9, verse 11. Sing praises to the Lord. Do what? Sing praises to the Lord. Read on. Which dwelleth in Zion. The Lord that dwell in Zion. That's us. Up, it's up, Zion is where we're going to be delivered. Okay? And we're supposed to sing praises to the Lord which dwelleth in Zion. Read on. Sing praises to the Lord which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. The songs are supposed to declare among the people his doings. Every time you're listening to the music, because remember when you're listening to that worldly stuff, what is that declaring? You're a hoe, you're a thief, you hate your brother, you're a gangbanger, how much who you want to kill, who you want to murder. Drug That's what you who you're a drug dealer, you're you're an adulterer, all the nastiness, right? Watch this. Give me Psalms chapter 18 verse 49. Listen to this. This is another thing with the music that you got to pay attention to. Psalms. And I'm going to go deeper in this. I just want to make a point so we can move on. Psalms chapter 18, verse 49. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O So Lord. we're giving thanks unto the Most High through this music. Read on. Among the heathen. Among the who? The heathen. The other nations that's watching. We're giving thanks unto the Lord in this music among the other nations that's watching. Read on. And sing praises unto thy name. And sing praises unto his name. You know we got people who try to attack us in front of the heathen trying to push music now to y'all and you people are listening to it? Can you read it one more time? One more time, please. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord. We're giving thanks unto the Lord for waking us up, giving us our nationality, our heritage, our culture. Read on. Among the heathen. With the other heathen that's watching us and hating us and trying to stop us. Read on. And sing praises unto thy name and we're singing praises to his name how could you support somebody who's making music now that attacked us with the heathen that makes sense to you you got people that are putting music out that attacked us that went before the heathen called us cult called us evil and lied before the world 
Now they're trying to make music and put it out. Any of you that buy that music or touch that music, you hate your nation. I'm going to make it clear to you. I got a lot of scriptures on that. I got a lot of stuff. That's hypocrisy. They oh, don't the care. about the one that call us a hate group? Yes. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Him and his wife. Him and his evil wife now. All of a sudden trying to put music out like they didn't do nothing. Like they didn't go before the world to the heathen and condemn the movement. Any of you that buy any of that music, you go against everything we just read. You're a hypocrite. You're a liar. And you deserve the judgment that the Most High is going to bring to you. Okay, they're trying to act like now that they didn't do anything. And the scripture says, what? One more time for the people who are deaf. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord. We're giving thanks to the Lord for this word, for this truth, for this understanding, for our nationality, our heritage, our culture. Read on. Among the heathen. Among the heathen that's watching. Read on. And sing praises unto thy name. And sing in praises. How could you say that you're going to make music for the nation and you attack people that's trying to bring the nation back? You evil as all hell. So like Deacon Malachi just said, this is historic. This is monumental. Okay, we're fulfilling prophecy. We're doing the Lord's will. And we're trying to bring the people to a mindset to take the pollution from them and build our nation back. That's who you support. That's who you follow. That's who you listen to. Anything else is ludicrous. Okay. Hey, hey um, also, right? Also... A couple of weeks ago, we had um, we had mentioned we had we had we got some set up for you brothers and sisters that know about jobs and so forth. We tell you all to post it. We got a website set up that we put up there, and we told you all to post it there. Out of that, we only had like six people that participate. You know what I mean? As I tell you, brothers and sisters, the only way we could do great things is when we work together. You understand? You brothers and sisters, that's all over. Do you, in all these different states, there's brothers and sisters that's in your states that might be looking for a job. And you posting it there and so forth, you could help that in your state. You could help that sister in your state. You understand? Hey, you all got that, that, um, the link that we had put up like four weeks ago or so? Okay, all right. When you all, okay. So, you all support, man. Those of you all that know about any jobs, where um on you all on jobs and you all know about any jobs and so forth, just post it up on that on that website, man. Deacon, is she here? Is she here? So she could give us the link again and put it on the screen. Maybe the people missed the class where she spoke. Maybe the computer wasn't working. Maybe it got cut off. Maybe right. we could have the sister reiterate to the nation again that care about their people. Right. Those of you all that care about your people, you on your job, you know your boss hiring, post it up. Sister Shire, are you here? She's upstairs. Can all you right. have her come down so we can put the, the link on the screen? Okay, just so you understand, uh, we're trying to find a way to network amongst our people. A lot of times people want to move to New York, they want to move to... Uh, uh, Florida, they want to move to Oklahoma, they want to move to Texas, the first thing you have to do is find work. So what we're trying to do is minimize the looking for the job so that us here, we're a huge body, we all have people, we all have bosses, it's like, you got somebody to fill this position, I got this spot open, I got this, you know first, and you're there. And you can help a brother or sister that's trying to move from another state. So on her website, she has a link where you can go there, and she's going to network so that if you plan on moving to a state, you can easily search her site and see job listings there. So, sis, could you just tell them one more time about the, uh, the, how you're coordinating efforts so that the people who want to relocate and they don't want to have to go on Craigslist or they don't want to have to buy the newspaper or go to monster.com. You can easily find within the body good job prospects with another brother or sister that's already at the job that they can help you. Could you just reiterate to them the link and uh, what you're doing with your yeah. for the body? Yes, sir. Shalom, Israel. Shalom. Shalom. Um, so, excuse me. So, if you go on to the website, it gives you an opportunity to um, post job opportunities that you know of at your job. And what we're trying to do is establish excuse me, establish a network within Israel that we can help each other get into these job 
uh, opportunities that are open. So Deacon made mention of it before about how the other nations literally work with each other and help each other get in these jobs. And then you'll see, you know, a wealth of them working together and we need to do that. We got to help each other get into these opportunities. So as you know of a position that's open, you post it here or you email me, you let me know, and I'm going to put it, whatever details you can give me, the more details, the better. Um, even if you're not the hiring manager, you don't have to be the person who makes the decision. You might be able to coach somebody on what to expect. Uh, how to complete the application, what they're looking for, how to answer some of those interview questions that they, they need to do so they can get into the position. You may be able to pass uh, their resume along to the manager to, to get them in even sooner. So it's about us actually working together to get in. And what I do is I put whatever details you give me on there, uh, and then I'll put your email address if somebody has questions that they can email you any questions that they have. And I'll put the date that, you know, the opportunity was available. And then everybody who joins um, the actual emailing list, I'll blast it out to you. So you don't necessarily have to go on the website every time to see what opportunities are there. I'll inform you of it. But for any one of us, you could just go ahead and see what's up there and take a look. I got sisters that post um, a work from home opportunity is on there, too. So a lot of us need these types of jobs and she, you know, she'll be able to kind of guide you on here's what the interview process is like. These are the questions they ask. This is what you need to know. So when they call you, this is how you present yourself. Like it's a real opportunity for us to truly work together as a nation. So we need to do that. There's a lot of job opportunities out there. I did get some, which is really good, but I know that there's more. A lot of us work. So you know, you want to find out if there is an opening at your job or even if it's not, how can we get in there? So just let me know and I'll, I'll put it up there for us. Or ask your boss when you get back or go just look. They have a certain area at your job where they post the listings. Write them down, send them to her. Uh, a lot. You guys may have information. They, do they give the Sabbath off? Will they give you the high holy days off? Will they bother you about your fringes? Will they let you come to work with your head wrap? Will they let you wear a skirt? Okay, and like I said before, since I banned pizza because I was trying to get rid of this fatness here, when I would go into the pizza shop, you see a whole bunch of Hamites in there. They don't even speak English, but they hook their boys up. You go into another pizza shop, well, around where I work, it's all Ishmael. They don't speak English, but they hook their boys up. That's all we doing. We trying to hook our people up. It shouldn't be this difficult because ninety percent of y'all got jobs. I, I say 95%. We have very few people that are not working here. And I, it's, they're always hiring. You understand? So y'all know you, you get construction, you're in retail, you're in security, you're in a hospital. It's a simple thing as if somebody wants to come and transfer, we already got an Israelite already there that can give them inside information and y'all can take care of them. All right? So... Well, well, I guess we may have to announce it a few more times till the people get familiar with it and it picks up. But we do expect more uh, interaction from the body. All right? Unless half of y'all is not working. <laughs> that's the only thing I can see. Hey, and that's, that's it. And when, when you look at it, Deacon, I, it works. Because I saw a brother, a brother in here let brothers know, like, you know, we post stuff up on our group me. Yo, my job is hiring. And it was good city job. You know what I mean? And a couple brothers in here went and applied for that job and they got through. You know, from a brother in here letting them know, listen, you know, they hiring right now at my job. You know, you brothers that, that um, you know, you all could make good money. You all, even though you are working, you all could still apply to, to up your salary when the year come, you know. And a couple brothers in here, they went and applied and they got through. You understand? So we want to take it from just from something like that and take it on another grand scale. You know, that's what we want to do. And she's been very successful with, you've had a lot of success stories. A lot of yes. people have contacted her so far. I just expect more. You know, I want this to be consistent. I want it to spread. And eventually, once we have the inside, uh, uh, me, I would love at my job to have another Israelite brother or sister believer with me. Okay, where I am now. Okay, uh, you guys, what you're saying is you rather have, keep, 
heathen around you or unbelievers around you. She's setting up a platform where you can network with a brother and sister, each one help one, and show love to each other. You understand? So y'all got to get involved. Pay attention to the link. Pay attention to the website. Don't call the phone and ask. Y'all watch the class and y'all calling us. Don't call again asking me about the things that we just took time to show you here. Continue, sis. Yes, and... Excuse me. And some of the opportunities, we got a sister here that she sent me a six-figure job. Like, there it is. The salary is $110,000 to $175,000 a year, full benefits. So we're trying to work together to get really good job opportunities. That's going to benefit us as a people, help take care of our families, and then give back to the body. So it's, it's really worth us working together as a nation to help one another get into these job opportunities. And if you need help with your presentation, whether it be your interview uh, or resume or whatever, then let me know. I also put on here uh, how to apply to the job. So they'll send me where to go. And a lot of times you could click there, the link, and I'll put courtesy of whomever sent it. And again, if you have questions about that particular job, you can contact them directly. Hey, I'm gonna hit you with one more thing. While I work, Esau, Got a lot of their family there. And when you read the listing for the for for the job, it got a whole bunch of qualifications that, that they're asking for that none of them ain't got. You know why? Because they was like, don't worry, I'm going to talk to the boss for you. I got you. They do that for them. Y'all don't do that for each other. So there'll be a whole lot of stuff that you'll be like, damn, I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have... I've heard my boss say, you don't worry about that. He got his nephew in there. He got his cousin in there. He got this, bro. what they call it, nepotism. Okay, they don't care about all that. The only person that cannot overcome that obstacle is the Negro. Okay, because they don't care about each other and they make it difficult for each other. So I'm telling you right now that I've seen it where people who don't meet the qualifications, they get in there because they talk to a boss, they talk to a supervisor, they talk to a manager, they bring them in there, they be like, don't even, I, I, I don't need your resume. Don't worry, I'm going to take care of it for you. That's what we're trying to do here. Continue, sis. And Deacon, you're 100% right. A lot of the people that I coach, I let them know that the, the qualifications that you see should never um, kind of dis uh discourage you thank you sir discourage you from applying uh the reality is we need to just go for it don't let anything stop you that's part of those uh uh traps and snares the scripture talks about where it's all meant to keep us from doing it for example uh, a lot of us believe you need a one-page resume and that's not true that's a way to disqualify yourself and show less experience versus more and we need to show more experience therefore we can compete so when you see these positions, don't get discouraged and go, oh, I can't, you know, I don't qualify. They want five years experience. They want a degree. They, they want 10 years. You know, I need certain, uh, certain types of experience. That's not true. I got started in the industry. I got started in simply because I went for it, not because I had what they wanted. I just went for it, and it was the Lord's will. I got it. So that's your email there, right? Do, do you have the email, the links, so that they can see the information and not call and ask again, what are we talking about? Yeah. It's that right there. Can you make it bigger? Ashira, the career coach at gmail.com. Ashira, right there, yeah, the career coach at gmail. You got people coming from other countries that want to come here, other states that want to come. This will be a head start for them. More schools are opening up. New locations. As we do that, and people got to transfer or whatever, okay, where she is, a new school is opening up. People may, oh, I want to go over there. There's job opportunities there. They're hiring at the hospital. They're hiring at this place. They're hiring there. We got to network with each other. No, and let me say something. You, you brothers and sisters, you all get hooked up on these jobs. You all don't go on these jobs and act like niggas. You understand? Because, like, I remember eight years ago, I hooked this brother up with a job, you know? And, you know, the dude, the dude that I hook, that, that help, that I hook him up with a job, with the dude, the dude hit me up. He like, yo, he said, that guy, because that guy is part of your church. You know what I mean? He's an Israelite like you because the, the dude know I'm an Israelite. 
You know, so he said, he said, man, he said, yo, this dude is nothing like you. This dude is arrogant as hell. You know what I mean? So I had to go to the brother and say, bro, listen, man, yo, the dude saying you arrogant, man. You gotta, you can't be talking back to the boss and acting like you don't care. Like, yo, bro, you know what I mean? You, you know, you are a representation of me. Because I, 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 I put in the good word for you. You understand? Same thing with a sister. A sister here. This was last year. I hooked a sister here up with a job. She went and she she gave me a bad name. Dude, like, yo, why you said this sister? She she ain't right. She an Israelite? She keeping the laws? You know, this was last year. The sister, she, because, she, you know, she went on the job. And the way she was rolling like she don't care. Showing up late and stuff like that. He like, yo, man, I can't do this. I got to fire her. I said, bro, do what you got to do. Get rid of her. You understand? So I'm just saying, you brothers and sisters that 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 um that fall into that program and so forth, y'all don't go and act like a nigga, man. You understand? And if y'all go and y'all acting like a like a the N-word, undesirable, yeah, undes- yeah, I'm trying to stop use that word. <laughs> if y'all come and y'all acting like that, yo, brothers, those of y'all that hook them up, don't be scared to to, to put them on blast. To put them on Embarrass blast. Embarrass them. Or tell the or tell the boss, listen, get rid of him. You understand? Right. Straight up like that. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. feeling, no hard feeling loss. You understand? But you all you all can't be rolling in that in that spirit. Yeah, Deacon, you can call him yeah, Ashy Black Devil. <laughs> hey, because we've had cases here where people in the body have companies and they hire uh Israelite brother or sister and they take advantage. Embarrass them, man. If they don't come there and they don't work, like to, to, they should work better because it's for their, uh, uh, a fellow brother or sister that, that hooked them up or it's their company. I've, I've heard stories of uh, brothers getting hooked up at a job and just because they're Israel, they're abusing the person that hooked them up. No, embarrass them. Make sure you tell everybody. The scriptures say, mark that man that he may be ashamed. Also in Jacksonville, Florida, the brother Judah and his wife Janaea are no longer Galatians. They are official Israel. All praises to the Lord. You you heard that? Yeah, all praises to Most High God Almighty. (laughs) So. This is the Passover early bird promotion is over and the weekly drawings will begin on December 20th. Tune into the Bible Book of Our Fathers on Fridays at 6 p.m. Eastern time to see if your name is drawn. All right. So you have to go on. You have to tune into the Bible, the Book of Our Fathers. That's the the radio show with Deacon Yawasop. And the North Carolina captains, all right, on Fridays at 6 p.m. The drawing is on December 20th for those who participated in the early bird promotion for the Passover. Also, anyone with inquiries for the Passover, don't call New York. Don't call the number. North Carolina is handling uh, all the details. You could contact North Carolina. Uh I can't answer your questions. I'm not handling it. I'm not dealing with it. People are asking me what to do. So I assume when you call, you're not a part of Israel United in Christ because you're not paying attention to the instructions. We're not doing the pass over here. We're not handling it here. It's North Carolina. If you are a part of the body, you're following the instructions. You're following the details, and you know to contact North Carolina concerning attending. Some of you are faithful uh, followers online. I'm speaking to you also, the ones who we know. You contact North Carolina concerning attending. New York cannot assist you with that. Yeah, Any yeah, more announcements? Yeah, yeah I, got, I got a few. Uh, we got Captain Joel in the house. Then we also, Deacon Yao, stop, stop texting. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Deacon Yao, stop. Shalom, brother. Deacon uh, Abiel. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you, brothers. I appreciate y'all. I'm back now. <laughs> so, we're going to break bread and drink wine in honor of our Lord and Savior laying down his life so that you too can have life. Everybody got bread and wine? Okay. For I've received of the Lord.
that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is a new testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as he eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen. Yo, let's give it up a great class for the bishop, the deacons, the captains, the officers who went out there to Uganda to bring that word and come back safe. All praises for that, man. Hey, I want to I wanna say one thing regarding um, the bishop. Y'all remember how this year started off. This, year, this year started off, uh, I wouldn't say bad, because the stuff that happened was not bad because look at where we are now. This, the Esau's year is closing now. And y'all remember, before the year even came in, before 2019, Satan was attacking and, two, and ended up December, what was it, like December? It's right around there, Satan sent all his demons that was amongst us, he unleashed them. And look at how the year is, look at how his year is ending. The bishop is covering the four corners of the earth and doing what the gospel says. Y'all didn't think that was going to happen in the beginning of the year. That's for you devils. That's for you clowns. That's for you cowards. That's for you evil people that was speaking against us in the beginning of the year. The bishop went to all four corners of the earth and preached the gospel. And what about you? Where are you? What are you doing now? And While you were scheming part. in 2018, the bishop was making history in 2019 going into 2020 so let's thank the most high for that okay i have to sit back and look because in the beginning of the year sometimes the most high will keep things from you and a lot of y'all was thinking some real evil thoughts and with no faith that's why you understand now why christ kept saying oh ye of little faith oh ye of little faith you see how important it is to have faith okay because one thing that I'll give to the bishop when everything was popping off, his number one thing is stay in the spirit. Don't worry about it, brother. You worry, you worry, you worry. He always said that. Okay, so I got to give him his props for that and his respect for that because that was always his attitude from the very beginning when everybody was acting up. He's, his number one thing you said, bishop, is the gates of hell shall not prevail. Okay, and we've seen that with our own eyes. So that should make you brothers have more strength, more devotion, more dedication, okay? Uh, we got some new spirits here, some good spirits, some stronger people. The garbage I left here, we got better quality men than there, more humble, more believing spirits, more trustworthy spirits, okay? And I was the most high doing a great thing. You, They, they meant it for evil, but the Lord meant it for good, okay? Y'all got to remember that. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of brothers that left Deacon Asap. They went back to the old dirty couch. <laughs> the, the Lord, we, you know what I mean? The Lord reached out to them. They went back to the old dirty couch because there was there was not about nothing. So, you know what I mean? Like, we here to build soul. We here to instruct you the right way. But in the same time, brother, you know what I mean? You have to know you. 
You understand? Never had the mindset, you know better than your teacher. You understand? That's what's wrong with you. Because you're thinking that, you know what I mean? Like, for example, if you see a kid that is three years old, that most likely a kid that is three years old, either he's in a, just left the diaper, you understand? But not in the in he, the shoes. He just came uh, off the bo yeah. bottle and he just started eating solid food. Yes, sir. Man, but in the truth, why people don't think like that? <laughs> no, they don't look at things spiritual. They rather follow children. And that's what a lot of you are following, children. Okay, but as I said before, y'all got to look. Sometimes you got to sit back and you got to think. The most high wants you. Things are moving too fast right now. Sometimes you got to sit back and you got to think where you was and where you are now. Where you came from and where you are now. And that's how a lot of you brothers and sisters should think. Where were you at the beginning of this year? Were you on the side of the Lord or on the side of the devil? Or were you lukewarm like Christ said? Because he said that I will spit you out of my mouth. You got to choose sides. This is not a game no more. And a lot of y'all stay in, in, in uh, what, what is it? Revelation chapter 3 verse 15 I think it is. Where Christ says I wish you were cold or hot. Okay but be because you want to stay in the middle. The most high can't deal with you. And the brothers and sisters that survive, that are here, that are watching these great works, that are witnessing these great, great works, they chose a side. They said, I'm not going to stay lukewarm. I'm not going to stay cold. I'm not going to stay evil because you lukewarm Negroes, you're evil. We saw what happened with the lukewarm Negroes. When they thought that something bad was going to happen, what did they do? They all listened to tape recordings and attack and jump ship. Okay, yeah. and that's what I ponder on. Go ahead, Deacon. Yeah, uh, uh, many of our brothers and our sisters that that here with us today, they thought that you know I mean they had us in the gym, but that's not what God said, though. And I mean, we still here doing the works. Why these people speak evil of us? Listen, there's nobody can deny the work of a prophet. If the work is pure, I don't give a damn what you think. You understand? Our works speak for ourselves. Value. So we always want you to understand that. That's why we don't mind, you understand, put our life in the line to get the hell out of Babylon. Why are you talking negative? We're putting ourselves in the line for our people. Let's see which one God will honor. You who talk evil of your own kind or those who do the works, you understand, who continue doing the work, why are you talking evil? Then you don't go nowhere, brother. You just behind a computer, just talk evil. You hardly can show your face. Because, because why? You're so, weak in the, you're so weak as a man. I mean, it's ridiculous. You understand? Y'all guys be very mindful. We're in a lot of day. Don't be listening to these dumb, ashy black devils. I'm telling y'all straight, there's a lot of them. For you oh, ashy but, black devils, we have some of this for you right here. Just come back and we'll, we can put this on. This, this will drive away your ash. No, no, no. no. Hold on, man. I'll walk with this thing. Listen. Oh, yes. He made his own formula right here. I'm going to help you all. Catch out devils. <laughs> Did label that one Ashy Black Devil? <laughs> <laughs> you be shy. You be a shine devil. I'm making the t-shirts. You making the Ashy Black Devil oil. <laughs> all praises. All praises. So as some of you know, we had the uh, Giving Tuesday fundraiser. IUIC was, or uh, Israel was able to raise $105,886. So what that means is Facebook is going to match that because we made it in less than 24 hours on Tuesday. All right? So that's a testament of the unity and the power that we have as Israelites, all right, to raise funds for a righteous cause, okay? This is going to help us help the bishop, the captains, the deacons travel, all right? So also... The fundraiser is not done. You have until the 17th to donate if you'd like, all right? The only difference is that they don't match these dollars, but you can still donate until the 17th, okay? So it's on the IUIC Facebook uh, page. All hey, praises to the Most High. And, and, and not only that, y'all see what's being done with the money. Y'all here, the congregation's here. If we was lying, y'all be able to put us on blast, okay? You see that the money come in, the bishop plan and he make trips. He went over there. He saw the condition of those faithful brothers and sisters. Helped them with housing. Helped them with toiletries. Helped them with everything. As y'all give it, we we uh, 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 disperse it. 
Okay? When you read in, in Acts, I think it's Acts chapter 16, it said that Paul made a collection. A collection was made. He would explain to them, you'll have the money ready. And what would he do? As he met the brothers and sisters along the way, he did things to help them. The devout brothers and sisters. This is not a, 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 a charity. This is not a charitable fund. This is not any person listening to a speak, come, I need you to help pay my light bill. I need you to help pay my rent. The brothers and sisters that's helping push the gospel, we have documents to show that when we saw the conditions of them, we helped. There's the brothers and sisters putting in work so that this could go to the four corners of the earth. Nobody ain't taking this stuff and buying you car, buying you house, taking care of their wives, taking care of well, uh, uh, their, their personal stuff. Okay, so you could say what y'all want and y'all could question what we're doing. The works speak for themselves. Okay? All the liars have been put to silence. All you people running your mouth, you've been put to silence. Okay? And the best thing you can do to shut me up is do the same thing. You do the same thing, I'll shut up. Not only will I shut up, I will applause you. I'll praise you right here like I'm praising the brothers and sisters that help us. Okay? So, me... That was good what we did right there, but I, I think we got we got more better potential than us. There's a lot more places, more ground that need to be covered, more things that need to be taken care of, and the brothers and sisters that's putting in the work, we got to support them. All right? Y'all keep that in your in your head. Uh, yeah, then I also want to address other camp as well, man. Your brothers, man, forget about, about forget, keeping forget, their forget commitment about about and the faith of Christ. Let's continue this good legacy, man, by putting our books in. I'm not going to... Yes, so yes, yes. Be, no, no. I'm we just going to tell... We, they we, do have some brothers in diligent spirit. They just need to repent. You understand? Speaking evil, let's do this work hey, together. If, if by all. this point, if the foundation we laid, they still haven't repent, ain't no hope for them, bro. We ain't got no time to go back and forth. If y'all see now, that's with that in the beginning, there were obstacles in the way. Now we hope they get on board. Uh, we hope they draw their sword and get on board. Let's wake the people up on one accord. First t-shirt of the night. Draw your sword, get on board. Let's help the people in one accord. That's all I got to say to the other camps, man. Okay? I just saw a video the other day of some dude, those guys that hate Northern Kingdom, attacking somebody else. I'm like, yo, y'all ain't tired of this. 2019 is over. We coming into another year. The end of the year, they doing videos attacking other camps. Y'all ain't tired of that? You should be ashamed of yourself. Calling names, I'll fight you, you ain't built like, bro. None of the men here don't speak like that, man. Ignore them. Okay? They're an example of what not to be. You coming into this truth just to attack other brothers, most high is not dealing with you. You just run in your mouth. None of y'all watch their videos. You, none of you pay attention to them. The world is coming to an end. We got to stay focused. Satan says he's going to go down with great wrath. You know he's going to go down with great wrath? Waking up wicked, abominable Negroes like that to come in the truth and fight other people. You have no worth. You have no value. We've seen enough of that on YouTube. YouTube is about to shut down, and all you can think about is going to YouTube to pull precepts to attack another man. You have no value. You're worse than the enemy that we're trying to uh, get out of our way. So don't mention them. Don't talk about them. To hell with them. Let them do what they've been doing. Nothing. Okay? And let's do what we've been doing, building our nation up, edifying our people, and giving our people hope. A light that shineth in a dark place. Ain't nothing but darkness out there. We got to keep that light shining. All praises to the nation of Israel for helping us raise that money. Hey, that's what happened when we work together, man. That's why I tell you all. That's the key thing is working together. That's what happens, man. And that's only one day, you know? And think about it. We did that with just our regular nine to five stuff. There's other people who come in, but they want to see there's no bicker. They want to take their hard-earned money and come and support once they see that we're civilized. You don't want to support a gang of goons. Okay, I'm trying to find colorful words instead of the N-word. <laughs> YouTube and A gang of goons, a gang of monsters that you know you're going to take your money and put it to nothing. Okay, so that was just a collective effort of just us, regular nine to fivers. You got other people that's watching that's saying, you know what, I'm going to back them. I'm going to support them. They put their money where their mouth is. They put their money where God is. 
Okay? That's where the money's supposed to be going, to building up your nation, not building up nobody's pocket or nobody else's cause. So you brothers and sisters who are online, who are watching, and you're faithful, we thank you. You other people that are on the fence, cross over to the side of building this nation up. This world's coming to an end. This is the right side. Hey, all praise to the Most High Christ. All praise for a beautiful day also. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back, leadership. All praise for that. Uh, definitely good to see everybody up here. That's the first home I ever came to. First first time I congregated, I came to New York. All praise to the Most High. In case y'all don't know, I'm Officer Halez, I-U-I-C, A-T-X. And uh reason why I'm here is uh, I came to see my family. I came to congregate and keep the laws as well, feast dedication. And I'm also coming here to announce that Sister Abigail and myself are going to be betrothed. So, Sister Abigail, if you can get up, don't be shy. Come on and get up. Come on up front, sis. So me and Sister Abigail have been proven for about a year now. Um, she puts in a lot of work. When she was in Chicago, when she went to uh, Rochester, she also put in work over there. I got in contact with leadership frequently. Uh, they told me she was always a diligent sister. Her attendance was always on point. She, her spirit was always where it needed to be. So that's the kind of sister I wanted to make sure I proved to make sure that sister put in work. And she, and she was all about Christ and all about the nation building in Israel. So we did the blood work. We did everything we had to do. We didn't just jump into it. You get what I'm saying? Like on some blind stuff, we made sure to do everything, you know, in truth and spirit and truth. You know what I mean? Being because I'm telling y'all, some of y'all don't do that. Y'all better y'all better get with the program. So uh, you know, all praise to the Most High, though. Uh, the sister has showed me a lot, and Lord's will, we can. Uh, I, I found my help me. I've been in you know eight years, so Lord's will, you know, everything works out. Y'all send up prayers for us. Y'all see that? They waited. They waited a year. Hey, a year. Wow. And not only that, I've known this sister for a long time. I remember when she visited when we were on Burke. Okay? Just coming into the truth by herself in school. Young in the truth. New in the truth. How long you been with us now? It was more than that. Because you was contacted for a while. The five of your congregation, I think it was like 2013. We had just left out of your house. When, when, when we was teaching, in, and I thought when me and used to teach in your house, what time did we leave from there? Okay, she was already contacting us. So I've watched you grow. I've watched you come in. I've watched her make mistakes and still stay here and still get her stuff. And I, that's what I like to see. She wasn't like them fakes. You know them fake shalom, Muslim, crazy breasts, and you evil as hell. Okay, she made mistakes. She would atone for it. She would apologize. She would come here in person. She would let us know. Okay, I'm not talking about those fake shalom sisters with the big head wrap, real big like Marge Simpson. And they bow real low. And they Yes, and they say it all the words. She made it clear. She's new in this truth. She's trying to get herself right. And this is what hard work and dedication does. It gets you a handsome husband like this man right here. Put the camera on him. Put the camera on him. <laughs> not on me, on him. <laughs> okay. This is for you grimy sisters that can't get no man because you wicked as all hell so you go to YouTube and bash us. Okay? This is Israelite love right here. You grimy low-life sisters, you disgusting evil sisters that couldn't get your mind right, that just had hatred when you couldn't come here and get nobody. So what you did, you turn around and attack us. This is a, 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 a patience. This is repentance. This is, I'm human, man. We all human. We all make mistakes. We don't. We never profess to be perfect up here. We all make mistakes. 
But what the most scriptures tell you, just man will fall seven times before it get it right. We here to let you know if you fall, we got you. We here to build you back up. We don't want to condemn nobody. Okay, so that's why I'm saying with the time that I've known her, by herself, when you was in school, by yourself, struggling. Okay, going through college, trying to get her degree, everything new in this truth, balancing school. I remember the time you came to New York just for a short trip. Okay, I saw your pictures with your professor, your school, and everything. She came just before Friday Night Raw, okay, came, and then she went back to school, went back to wherever, and went back to her state by herself, and it's true. So I'm not talking from something, making something up or rubbing it in your face. You know how I am. I always rub things in your face. I am rubbing it in your face. Don't be evil, and the Most High will work with you. That's it. All right? All praises to the Most High. <laughs> hey, Yo, like, Abby, you, you, you was forcing fight. me to sing. Let him sing that in the mic. Give him a mic. <laughs> Give him a mic. And you better sing it like Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I don't know all the lyrics, but sing what you know, at Negro. At the end of this song, you singing tonight. <laughs> sing. You was black yesterday. Yes, you ain't yes, gonna yes, be yes, black yes. today. Stop, stop the filibuster. Who sing, wants to hear Nicky Ace sing today? Sing. <laughs> I already answered it. Sing, she's your queen. <laughs> es tu reina. <laughs> okay, you saved them. You saved them. <laughs> hey, so that concludes our Sabbath. Hey, wait, wait a minute. So I'm just glad that uh, Officer Helez and them did it the right way. Them backdoor weddings, uh, Officer Noah, these backdoor weddings, can you put that up there for me? Backdoor weddings. I ain't gonna talk. I ain't gonna call nobody name. You know, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. But <laughs> here's an example of a backdoor wedding where the brother comes home from work, and this is what he finds. Can you put it? This is this, this this is what happened. This just happened. Now, I, now I've been gone for a long time, but I heard this thing. I, mean, I think maybe next week we're gonna talk about this in in great biblical detail. Detail. Because <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I said this is a new thing in Israel. Sepase, sepase. Namule. Okay. Come on, Noah. Come on, bruh. You just killing the flow here. Come on. Abiel, man. Come on. Yo, 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 yo. These dudes. That's the Abiel's of the future. The moment is past now. Now it's just done. It's dead I, in the water. I, I, I'll, right, I'll go buy some time no, no. till he gets it. No, no. What Listen. the bishop is saying is this. You remember in the beginning, this, there used to be a line up here at this table. We used to be trying to fix marriages all the time. And you know what we realize, realize over the course of the years? We can't fix your evil marriage. And you know why? Because a lot of you, the scriptures say, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. A lot of you snuck around, you laid around, you played around, and now you're on the ground, okay? And then you come to us now, screaming and yelling. It's a yelling match, and we got to sort things out. We're not doing that no more. We will not do that anymore. Go so ahead. Asaph, the brother comes home, and this is what he finds his wife has done. She has purchased books of witchcraft, powers of the Psalms, Sepase. Come on, give me another La one. Boule. La Boule. La This is, is that the... This is no. What's the Bob name of Marley that with a perm. That's called her Herbal Magic. Herbal. It was a cut in the full book title. It's called Herbal Magic Workbook. Then go ahead. Next one. There's a thing of you know those the candles, candles for santeria, yeah. brujeria. Yeah. This is what happens when you brothers do these back door weddings. You don't listen to counsel. Now this is what you get. He married a witch. Oh yeah. yeah. Now, 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 now true story. In, true story. She put in pepper in her in these boots, hoping he and, let, and we can't and help a marriage like that. Right. You right. We that. can't help you, brother. We can't help a marriage like that. Okay. Um. That's why we say the importance of being patient. Okay. Um, if you picking a sister or a brother and the body don't know them, you on your own. Okay. Somebody should be in the scriptures. Why you think? They'll say at the wedding, is there anyone here that's against this? You see in the movies, is there anyone here that are against blah, blah, blah? Speak now forever, hold your peace. 
It's the same thing with, with the congregation. Somebody in the congregation should know that man, should know that woman. You can't hide your sin. Okay, if they've been coming regularly, and I'm not talking because I've seen this too, Bishop. Uh, sister, why are y'all going through problems now? Was he in the truth? Yeah, he was in what camp he went to? Oh, such and such camp. I caught a camp. Oh, he came two times and we never seen him again. Negro, you ain't in no camp. Nobody don't know you because you came two, three times or you came six months and left. That's called game. He ran game on you. That don't mean because he dragged his ashy behind here and didn't get oil from lava that he's in the truth. He ain't keep no high holy days. He just came and sat here. This is going to come as a shock to you, sisters. But Negroes will do that to get the drawers. They'll come here. They'll put the fringes on. They'll, answer, they'll sit in a circle. They'll be looking around. And the sister's looking, oh, my, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, look at him. You stupid as all hell. He don't go to no high holy days. He don't know none of the brothers. Nobody can vouch for him. And you come up with marriage papers, you deserve everything you get. Stop being stupid now. The world's coming to an end. We laid the foundation and the blueprint. We laid the structure. Follow it or fall down. Okay? Right. So if y'all notice, y'all don't see no couples up here like before. Right. Because I asked, who is it? How long they been here? If they didn't come through here and they dragged some Negro through the door, I don't know. I don't want to talk to them. I'll make it clear. I don't want to talk to them. Okay? The people who did things right. And there's a, a brother now messing up or a sister messing up. I'll be the first one to say, yo, come up here. Because you got some explaining to do. I thought you was a man of God. Why are you treating a sister like that? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? But if I don't know him, I'm going to call him up here and start talking to him. And he's looking at me like, I don't know you. What's all this? Where are you reading these scriptures? To? We've read scriptures here and the dude is like, where is that? What is that? He don't know nothing. Yeah, yeah you know, Deacon Aesop, sister gets so desperate. Sister's uh, saying that, can she talk with somebody in our other camp? But look how many brothers that's single in our UIC. To show you her mind is different, man. Then there used to be a sister. You remember, Bishop, the sister, the Levi sister? That we said, that camp that dude believe, he, that camp that dude from believe in two, three wives. We say, sis, don't go. No, no, he only believe in one wife. Then now, she turning back to, oh, no, that dude said, you going to be the second wife. They don't listen to us, man. So when things happen to you, man, like Deacon Aesop said, I, I know I thought you were get mad at me. Yeah, I'm going to laugh at you simple behind. Oh, I didn't tell you this one. I got an email while I was in uh, Sierra Leone. The email was from a sister. One of these lovely sisters here. Not here in New York, I mean in IUIC. She says, uh, she said, I have a problem. Hopefully you can help me. I said, type back, what's the problem? She says, well, I was in IUIC for quite some time. And the picking pool was very slim. So she left and went out in the world met a Negro named Rahim, got pregnant. Rahim left her. He said, no, nah, I'm not taking care of baby. So what did she do? She came back to IUIC, met a young brother who'd been here about six months, married him real quick. She married She said, within a month or so, convinced him. She was about a month pregnant. Convinced him that that baby was his. So y'all keep running with these backdoor winners with these sisters and brothers that just popped in. She says, what should I do? I'll tell you what I told her in another class. It's going to be a good class, too. Great biblical detail. Great biblical detail. <laughs> yeah, get, get rid of the whole spirit, sis. How about that? Or, I, we understand that y'all want companionship. But you have to understand when the scriptures say that you're no more twain, but you're one. Who wants to be joined one with somebody who you don't know? Well, it just it doesn't make sense to me. It's, it's mind-boggling how y'all in a rush to connect yourself, your soul, to someone you don't know. You know, I would go ballistic if I go in my house and I see them candles, <laughs> I see the witchcraft book, after all the time that I put in this truth, and I'm like, this is my wife? I would go ballistic. I would go bananas. And the, the key thing is, Christ said, in your patience, possess your soul. And Satan's going to get a lot of you because you're not patient. You move like little children. How a little kid is, my son, piece of dedication, was he couldn't wait to open his gifts. That's how y'all are with this truth. Gave him his gifts. We told him, look, you're going to wait. You're going to open them. No, 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 no. He, he opens one. And he, that's how some of y'all with this truth. You're like little children here. 
And you don't realize that your soul is the most important thing you have on this earth. And you're ready to destroy it. Slow down. Yeah, 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 a lot of these sisters, they're very disparate. A lot of these brothers, very disparate because they don't know what they're worth. You're worth more than gold. You understand? You're worth more than diamond. So you better recognize what you're worth before you start selling yourself out here for cheap stuff. Hey, and look around you. How many sisters were here for a while and they're gone? With wicked demons, with wicked multiple wives doctrine and, and uh, sunrise doctrine. They sat here, made their way into the kitchen, made their way here. They were doing any type of job. But what's on their mind? I can't say it here. <laughs> I can't talk that way no more. <laughs> but we see all that fakeness. Okay? Now their marriage is falling apart. We had a sister leave here, rush down south to Texas, grand opening, grand closing, marriage over. <laughs> okay marriage over all the pictures taken now no more pictures of the wife she was one of the devils running her mouth here trying to get some of you sisters to leave and go join what's up with that marriage now okay because y'all moving in haste y'all moving in haste y'all need to slow down that's what that's when satan does his best work when you move that's why christ kept saying pay attention to how much christ said if you had as much faith of a grain of mind it's not how well you memorize the precepts Okay, your faith, and when you lose faith and you move in haste, you're going to destroy yourself. Patient is the key. So that concludes our Sabbath. That's it, Bishop. Nothing else? Okay. No, we don't announce the visitors anymore. So, Bishop, if there's anything else, I'm going to end, all right? That concludes our Sabbath. Most high in Christ bless to you. See y'all next Friday, 10.30, Friday Night Raw. Don't forget me, 8 o'clock. Lava at 8 o'clock. You better come and okay. represent. <laughs> Most high in Christ bless. Hey, and remember what's going to happen on the 10th. They already started shutting down a lot of Israelite camps' YouTube pages. So as I said before, if y'all don't see us, the Most High has made the decree. Shalom. Uh, uh, y'all think next hold week, on, man, on. we got triple Sabbath next week. Right? Yes, 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 oh, yes. Sorry, man. Just so y'all understand, the closing of the Feast of Dedication is Thursday night. Until Friday night, is so that's two Sabbaths. Thursday, Friday. I think the new moon is... And the new moon is Saturday also. Just be sure, let's be sure. Check the calendar. We sure? I don't want nobody going crazy on me. Check the calendar to be sure. Thursday to Friday night is a closing, then the regular Sabbath, then you're saying the new moon comes. You remember there was an idiot from another camp saying, IUIC is making up triple Sabbaths. Y'all don't remember that? <laughs> remember an idiot that was saying, I said the bishop is making up triple Sabbaths. <laughs> Go to his page, he ain't got nothing on there now. He got cobwebs. <laughs> Clown. <laughs> Y'all lucky I can't say the N-word no more. <laughs> you can say ashy. Huh? Ashy yeah, I'm, 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 that's starting to have a ring to it. Ashy. Hey? <laughs> we got the calendar. We checked it. So Thursday new moon, Friday night closing. Yeah, that's uh, double. That's a double Sabbath. Where you get triple? The Thursday is a new moon or the closing of Thursday the... night is a new moon. Friday night is the closing. Okay, so it's a double. Remember, Hanukkah's eight days. It's an eight days. Right. Okay. So Thursday is a new moon. Friday night is the closing of Hanukkah. So it's a double Sabbath. You so by Jan is how thank, thank you, Jan. Jan. We appreciate thank you, Captain. That's Jan. why I said double check double the calendar. Sabbath. That's why I said check it. You, you may yawn sound like you see uh, uh, triple diamond. <laughs> so <laughs> all of you should be doing your buying and selling before Thursday night sundown. All of you should be doing your buying and selling before Thursday night sundown. Okay? Because it's a double Sabbath. The closing and the new moon and the regular Sabbath. They're all going to come together in two days. Okay? Most high in Christ bless to you. And shalom. Uh, real quick, real quick, sorry. <laughs> shalom, deacon. Shalom, bishop. Shalom, leadership. Everyone stand on your feet. Give leadership a nice New York welcome back. It's been nearly two months. 
two different countries. All praises to the Most High on behalf of New York, the hospitality team. We Pick had Captain Hannah Nyer. We had Captain Joel. Pick the Deacon camera Lava. up so you can get the sign. Everyone was out there doing their thing. We appreciate it. We know the time, the sacrifices, and the money it takes to pull something like this off. We have gifts we want to give, and the sisters have a, a nice special uh, setting upstairs for you. Uh, the sisters going to present. This is just a token of our appreciation because we know the sacrifices it takes to pull something like this off. Welcome back. We appreciate it. All praises to the Most High. They got you good gifts, Lava. Did they get you good gifts? Hell no, man. There are people waiting on you to travel. When Listen, you be y'all got to get him good gifts. be done. <laughs> Soon. Y'all got to get him good gifts. Oh, he wants a 75-inch screen TV. It's on sale at so Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> okay? <Hey, you're> <laughs> the LG. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, man. The gift that I wanted, man. Pray for me for a good wife. A hey, 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 oh, yes. look, look. Hey, hey, Lava, you want to you wanna see Sierra Leone wife? You want one of those wives? I don't know yet, bitch. You don't know yet? But you pray. Okay. Keep, keep don't be on Instagram hey. looking thirsty, brother. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> because it's oh. a lot. You are hey, hey, Deacon, Deacon. You, got, <laughs> hey, you could be like Paul, man. You could be uh, like yeah, Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to be like Paul. Thirstagram. You, 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 I won't be like Paul, man. You should be like, like Paul, man. Like uh, uh, Captain Isaac, I, I'd be like uh, Paul, man. Hey, it's good that the, that the bishop said that. You know why? Because you, I'm seeing a trend of this. Uh, so, some of us here or whatever, that's why we have to be so standoffish. You may entertain a sister. You may speak with a sister. You know what that sister's doing? Saving a whole conversation to say, you see, so-and-so likes me. Right. So you brothers and sisters, you brothers, be mindful of that. Some of these sisters are evil as hell. I've seen it with my own eyes. Text that you send them from maybe two or three years ago, they holding on to it to say later on, oh, he likes me. Look what he was saying. And it was never that. It was just because, you know, the, you, the, the conversation is there or whatever, or compassion or whatever, and you want to open your why Christ said he committed himself to no man. So you brothers who are leaders now, watch how you talk with these sisters, man. Some of them will stick. They'll keep that conversation two years, three years. We, our sister just did it to me, sir. Sister been gone a whole year and was saving text. And all of a sudden now, on Facebook to show, screenshot everything, saying that this, this whole conversation, that sister been gone here for over a year. And I'm not going to go into her personal business because we got to pray for her. She's young. She's little. So I'm not going to say nothing against her, but I'm just showing you if she could do it, there's other grown women out there that will do the exact same thing. And it'll be you who you try to help as a leader or trying to help as an officer, as a soldier or whatever. Now you're moving on with your life. Now she's, oh, look, I'm going to show this to your wife. Watch these. The scriptures tell you the adulteress will what? Hunt for the precious soul. Your souls are precious. Watch how you are. The bishop said it playing around about that Instagram and all that other stuff. But I'm telling you, I've seen it with my own eyes. Some emails, I don't even want to respond to them no more because they'll take your response and it's in a damn video. Go ahead. So, Bishop, if you, the deacons, and the captains can make your way upstairs, the sisters have something nice set up for you. Okay. Praise you. This is good. Yo, once again, once again, hold on, hold that music down, man. Yo, everybody know me. Y'all make sure y'all get down there December 22nd, down there at the concert, man. Show your love, man. Everybody who support Israel, united in Christ, make it happen. You understand? Faith, patient, salvation, the truth. 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 Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. Christ. What color is he? Black. 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 Israel. Israel. <laughs> I'm making sure y'all get hyped up. Israel. What time is it? What time? 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 Who am I? Israelite. Who am I? Israelite. Who am I? Israelite. Who am I? Israelite. Now finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. His what? His might. His what? His might. His what? His might. His what? His might. His 